topics, whether conscious or cosmic. It's never nonsense. Mega levels are microscopic. It's a killer priest project. AD control the rocket. Before we land the plane, many things we engage and explain. The unexplained without mass. Welcome to the Killer Priest Podcast. Headshots. Headshots. I'm on one right now. Are we in the are we in the building or what? Are we in the temple? Hey. We are in the temple. I got this fly shirt on. I got the fly. Make sure y'all get this fly shirt on. Jerry Shining, feeling good. Burr. Um I got books. How you doing, Sophia Stewart? You know what I mean? Matrix 4. Hey. I am ready, set, and ready to go. Be inspired. Oh, man. This is going to be... Crumb coming to this bar graph. I mean, y'all... We, I have to take my time with you. Come. Mm-hmm. It's going to be some... It's going to be some uh, elevation for the mind. Always great when you mind. Learn new things. Or having that, you gotta be a spy. Mm-hmm. Gonna start the show. Oh, I don't even. <laughs> I'm just ready to go. This is how we rock. <laughs> la la da da. This is how we rock. Yeah. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Peace. Wow. Damn. Hit that subscribe button. Tell them we are in the building. Del Degrassi, uh, Del Degrassi, Titan said, Valley of Flames, out right. We're just doing things. We're making things happen because things are coming to us. Oh, I'm, I'm lit. Lit right now. I haven't been like this in a minute. Yep. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you zooming right now. Something. You zooming. All right. We're going to start the show. Hmm? That's how we this, this how we rock. da 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 ba da 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 like <laughs> welcome <laughs> yes welcome to <laughs> see you, jamie shout out to jamie welcome to another episode of killer priest hot craft i gotta change that uh ad uh-huh. and i gotta change that in that that verse i said welcome to the killer priest podcast it's supposed to be Killer priest pod craft all right going back in on that remember yeah, that for sure. the reason. welcome mm-hmm. to another episode of killer priest pod craft i am your host I ain't chic for the some almost there, so prepare. I say peace and RIP to the Iron Sheik. Running the rocket, non-stop it is none other than ADA Dizzle. Yeah. Peace, peace. What's good? Welcome back. Let's go. Hey, it's about to be on. I see Sister Asia says she's watching. On my side is none other than Coach Solomon. Peace. Solo Gems. <laughs> peace, peace. What's up, y'all? Blessings, love, and be prospering. Addictive behavior resulting. Mm-hmm. From insecure attachments. Oh man, mm. we got. Hey, uh, they came off good, right? Oh yeah. Last time I started it, I was breathing. Uh, just breathe, intake. <sighs> wow, mm. and she going. Yeah. We talked about movies. Shout out to uh, McKepper was here last time. It was beautiful, man. Uh, oh, uh, I saw Sewell and. Uh, to Hootie's A, A, we got some AP, we got some AP out. Uh, a lot of people have been um, hitting and a lot of things been happening. Mm. When you, what, what, what it is, is when you put yourself in the right mindset. mindset. Oh man, shout out to Team Kambada too. Shout out to Kambada, man. Got things keep coming up there. Yeah. Dope lyricists, you know what I mean? Shout out to Knowledge Born. I'm a, I'm a Knowledge the Craft Room. And the Rocketeers, I am Brother Glow in the building. Um, see you soon, watching live on my way. Yeah, no doubt with Don. Hey. Sister Asia is on her way. Hey. Exactly. Um, Overkill, we see you. Shout out to Overkill. Adromeda, I'll, re- I'll read a couple of the, uh, uh, it says uh, Solid Gems, that's Solo Gems, I think. Um, primordial elements, Oat Solomon. Hey, I'm hey. looking for a rabbit in the yard. You know, it turns when the rabbit got the gun. <laughs> Everything's different. Or, and once the rabbit get the gun, it's over. 
it is over. It's different. That's why you got to pick up your weapon. Your mind is your, 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 your most, your most, that's your weapon. Yep. In warfare. In honor, respect your armor from fiery dots. People be, yeah, people want to pick dirt. See? Man, you know, shout Man, out to me. over your wallet. You <laughs> <laughs> kind of scared me, yo. Yo, get out of here because you last time you got me an allergy attack last time. Yeah. Um, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, you're right. Like, uh, like, uh, got to ask that question to Elmer the Flood, how that feel like, right? Uh huh. You know what I mean? When Bugs Money <laughs> get the gun, yeah. changes all the situations, you know? Come on. It's no longer rabbit season. <laughs> the rabbit got the gun now. <laughs> It turns. Mm -hmm. yep, <laughs> Everything changes. The hunter become the honey. You can you can switch you can switch things around, change things around, switch it on up. Like oh wow, uh, I'm the hunter now because I got the yo. Know, it's it's a movie called Dark Crystal. Mm. You ever seen that? We are gonna go into some movies today. Okay. Star Wars. You know when Crumb come through, he broke down the smirk. La 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 la. <laughs> la 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 la. You know what I mean? Right. I see you in the I see you in the I see you in the cut. I see you in the cut. <laughs> moderators is in a got moderators on another zone. Somebody said they hunting wabbits. Mm hmm It's wabbit season. Wabbit season, man. When the wabbit get the gun, it switches around. That's why you can pick up yourself. And then you start to, that's why, listen, freedom of speech is everything. You can decipher movies. You can just go to the movie, just watch it, and then break it on down. I don't care what you read. It's, it could be a holy Bible. When things, you, you start seeing things in it that you mm -hmm. see, it could be, it could be a saw. It could be the, it could be the hieroglyphs. It could be cuneiform. Somebody, you can go, and, as long as you register and put that into your life and make it work for you, you could do that with any, you could take a rhyme, a rap, do anything. This is the, the, the age of AI, but it's also the age of your eye, the third eye. It's also your time. You can't, you can't be waiting, sitting around waiting for things to happen. Uh, a lot of us, we don't even uh, take control of our own selves. We wait and we wait. I mean, let me turn down my, um, let me turn down it because I'm going to get busy. I know Salo got something to say too. Oh, yeah. You know how, you know how to turn it down? Uh, yeah, let me, uh, go ahead, go ahead, Salo, go in. I got you, I got you. Um, <clears throat> so, y'all don't know the current events that's coming up. You know what I mean? It's uh, Juneteenth coming up. So, you know, you're ready to celebrate Juneteenth. We don't always do it. I mean, it's kind of got big over for the past three years. And, oh, that. well, yeah, Russia just celebrate Juneteenth because, you know, taking over the 4th of July now because 4th of July, you know what I mean? We get deep about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah, celebrate Juneteenth. Juneteenth is coming up Sunday. Father's Day, right? No, no, Juneteenth is coming up on Monday. Yeah. Father's Day is coming up on um, Sunday. Uh, celebrate your fathers. You know what I mean? I'm here with my dad right here. Hey. You know what I mean? Happy Father's Day. I got to say here on, on, on the live. Oh, good looking. Yeah, no problem. problem, problem. That's you know what I mean? So... Mm -hmm. You know, it's Father's Day coming up. Oh, and also, my mother's birthday is coming up, too, on Friday. You know what I mean? I got to shout out to my mom. I got to shout out to my mom. You know? I gotta shout out to my mom. No doubt. You know? Shout out. Taking care of Thanks. me for 27 years. That's right. <laughs> got to give her, you know, I got to give her props and everything. So We're going to say happy birthday to her. Yeah. Word. We're going to say happy birthday to her, man. You no, know, I know she's watching out there. Lace. Yep. Yep. But, you know, shout out to them. And, you know, we, we all, pro you know, doing my thing, living my hey, life. I never really got, because <laughs> every time it was, it was it was like her birthday, then Father's Day. So I had to be like, oh, dad, it's her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to be like, okay, it's your birthday. Then I get my little father's thing in there. But, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it was all gravy. Yeah, no. But Anna is Anna because she did such a great job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, um, Anna too, uh, her, oh, yeah, but, <laughs> you know, anyway. bro, name out there, yeah, yeah, exactly. Shout out to my love. mother, you know, what I mean, love her, exactly, yeah, exactly, love her. exactly. You know? You're in the building, in the building, in the building right now, but um, oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, mm. Mm. but in the partial die in the building, hey, um, 
Okay. Didn't figure it out, huh? Oh no, no. I'll just look at the I'll just look at the joint. Overkill. Um WS Banker in the building. Happy to have you. Were um yeah, man. So it's a, it's 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 like a it's like a vibe. I told you any the energy is just on a on a good up and up level. You just you know doing a, on a good mind mind frame and things be breaking down like that. Man. Real, it's just like on a great level. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Evolution of consciousness. Matrix Four setting it off. You know what I mean? Getting into it. Hey. You want me to do it for you? <laughs> hold on. Yeah, I can't. Hold, 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 hold on. I got it. I got it. Yo. I'll be weak. <laughs> but I know. This is off the hook. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we got... Man. What's the name? Go ahead, Glass Hello. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Nepal. I guess it's coming up, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate uh, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Have a, a birthday coming up. Bird. Celebrate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yo, there, there's a new thing uh, going on here. You see that? What? Right here. Oh, the heart with the oh, they giving that, out. They that's give, they that's give, always like that's always been a thing though. Not they, not on this show. They not, out not on the show, really. Yeah. Oh, they giving out. Uh, that's brand new. Look, they didn't have that last time. Look, now people can just. How come this one they always had the, the the little likes? You may have love. seen that in other shows, but this is the first time it's integrated into our streaming software. Ah, yo, hit so, the hit that heart. The uh, one hundred. What's the what's the emojis again? I gotta see. I gotta see them all again. The hundreds, uh, the surprise, the laugh, and the the party sign, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. Now we can see that on screen. All right, no doubt. Upgrades. We got upgrades. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She had hers. She missed you, Salo. Vedic <laughs> vape room. Hey, I see you, Aurora Barat. I <laughs> know Aurora's. Aurora, what up, Aurora? Mm-hmm. No doubt, no doubt. Yo, so yeah, we got the new Eternal Flames that's out there. Do you wish to elaborate on that? Uh, yeah. AD, word. So y'all saw the video. The video is out right now. It's one of the first videos that we put out that is vertical. You can watch the whole video vertically on your phone. Uh, it's not a short, though. Uh-huh. It's a it's the full on uh, exclusive release of an upcoming song coming out by Priest. Uh, it's called the Valley of Eternal Flames. Mm. Yes, the Valley of Eternal Flames, yeah. yo. Valley of Eternal Flames. If y'all didn't check it out, make sure y'all check it out. Let's break it down right now because it's just a leak. It's not a real video. We a ah. Mm. Yeah, some people they know they break it. They break that down. Yeah. Y'all see what it is. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Hey. Exactly. Now, you're going to want to watch the original from your phone so that you can see it with the vertical experience. It's basically a combination of video footage combined with, you know, some AI uh, graphics that were created to correlate appropriately. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's that. Enjoy that. It's three minutes long. Valley of Eternal Flames exclusively. You want me to play the whole thing, or what you want me to do? Yeah, I mean, uh, what's the name? Threw some, uh, threw some flames in there with the eye. No yeah, doubt, no doubt. Word. Yeah. Another priest masterpiece. Hey. Yo, it got a lot of views. I think because we launched it at noon. Yeah. Noon was a good time, time but the, it, it premiered at noon. Yeah, and Somebody that's a go, good time for people so all around. That's noon Pacific time, right? I can't. So that's actually smart. Yeah, that's I a can't good time. Phone since Asia. That way, yeah. nine a.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, people, what New York? No, it'll be three o'clock. Three o'clock. In okay, the afternoon. Perfect. So three o'clock in the afternoon for New York, and then West Coast and see it at nine, and then I don't know what it would be like in Japan. Oh, Japan probably be like what nighttime? Yeah, Maybe like night. Sun? I don't know. Japan is always. I know they are like out of, they're a little ahead of us. So. Yeah. I know that's a fact. So we wanted to launch it. We want to launch these uh, premieres to be at a time where the most viewers can obviously watch. Right, right. At once. Do you know what I mean? Not just in the U.S. We're trying to consider the world because mm-hmm. uh, this podcast and especially Priest fans are international. Yeah, I know. Yeah, obviously. trust me. Shouts to all y'all from Australia, yeah. um, Netherlands, uh, Europe, everything. Spain. You know, they show a lot of love. I know that for a fact. So. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. But yeah, we, we gotta look. Yeah, you gotta look out for them too. I know 
I think I think by the time the morning starting is like nighttime for us. I think. Yeah. And I think that's what it is, right? Australia, far east coast. Yeah. yeah we are. Oh, we are, we are, we are definitely up at it. So, so we're gonna talk about. Oh man, we got a lot of things to get. Oh, but we gotta watch out for uh, Sister Asia. So yeah, just have her uh, text me, okay. and I'll, I'll run down. So yeah, we got the book. Hey, 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 hey! Let me, let me pry through this for a minute. Just let me see. Let me put on my glass, my reading glasses, please. Would you bear with me? Oh. Oh, well. Read it. All right. Okay. okay. Neo, Neo, and Trinity are sleeping in the bed. Trinity turned on her uh, right side to work. Yeah. So we want to see the synopsis versus my intelligence. Hmm. Yeah. You know, later night. Okay. For all okay. the fans and people who really want to know who wrote The Matrix and Terminated, this book. Is being published. Help her. So, mm. Sophia Stewart, thank you so much. Mm. Thank you so much for the book. Man, the truth. Yeah. Yeah, the truth, the truth set you free. Truth shall set you free. Exactly. Uh huh. Shannon South Heart, what up? You said late night is always the best for me. That's right. A lot of things happen um, at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, exactly. See, that's what it, they tap into that 3 a.m. There's a reason. You know what I mean? At 3 a.m. Sometimes you be sleep, you just get up. It's 3 a.m. Yeah. You might you might ride around. You might do anything. You might, you know, you just up 3 a.m. Some people say uh the freaks come out at night. <laughs> they be out there at night, what, seven o'clock, right? As soon as it go down. The freaks yeah. come out at night, but also the intelligence. It's a peaceful no, it's the atmosphere is real because everything sleep. Only the nocturnal animals are out, are mm. out, and they're very silent. Everything move in the darkness, move like darkness, right? And then we create the light, which cometh. That's the beauty. Light. You know That's what I'm beauty. saying? Out of darkness cometh the light. Uh. So I'm just saying, out when you in that and you in that state, man, it's 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 a beautiful time to create and do things. Is a is a uh, beautiful time to make things happen, you know, all type of levels. I believe that, yeah. A lot, a lot of great ideas happen at nighttime. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's, um, you, I think you tap into your, like creative realm and everything like that. I, I noticed that. I mean, when I'm up at three o'clock, my mind, my mind be rambling. I think a lot. Like it's hard for me to go to sleep. A lot of people don't know that, right? So yeah. when I do fall I asleep, it. it's it's very calm. <laughs> me too. It's very calm. You know, what I mean, it's really hard for me to like settle down because my mind really be racing. I come to a lot of different conclusions and, my, and it's crazy because my creativity is actually a lot more in heightened when I'm in nighttime in general, you know, so that, that actually resonates because I, my mind kind of just goes in a different realm. It don't, it don't stay where it is. I go real deep about whatever topic I'm thinking about, whatever situation is going on in my life and everything like that. That's kind of what's going through in my life and everything like that. So I believe that. I mean, 3 a.m., man, that's like, that's my, that's my golden time, I guess. 3 a.m., 5, 5 a.m., really, honestly. 5 a.m. If I wake up at 5 a.m., I feel like my day will go perfectly. But 5 a.m. is about the time I'm going to bed. 5 a.m.? See? <laughs> I'm nocturnal, it's, though. So okay. Said, yeah, okay. Demetrius said, wait for the night. Insomnia. Solar gym. Oh, right. hell yeah. That's wow, definitely me. That's, what the crea- that's when the creation, uh, the creation story happened. Yep. And that's, fa- that's beautiful. You run across your own waters, and then you 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 know you, you move across your own waters mm. Mm. at darkness, and then um, see those are those are inventions. I mean, light. Come on, it's, pictures are created in the in the night in the dark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Infrared, you got infrared. There's infrared all the around us, man. There's all there's so many elements in the dark, and what you don't see. That's why they say don't what you don't see. I go. What you, you don't, don't see. see. I know what you're talking about. Damn, I, I I don't got the quote right in front of me. Won't hurt. <laughs> well, whatever you don't see, that's when I'll... the creation starts. That's when it, it starts and it comes out later on. I'm doing mm-hmm. my George Bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once. You know what I mean? Let me, look at, let me look at the uh, let me look at the chat room, which cometh my health. You can't fool me again. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Now nah, we got we we got we we were building so much right before this started. Yeah, we so were. If you, if you wonder why Priest is turned up, is because 
Um, Coffee. Oh, come on, eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, T heads. Uh, let me. Can we have some music so I can confess to the T heads? Okay. Uh, um, uh, I've been I've been doing cold brew, and <laughs> uh, I've I've done cold brew now for for uh, AD got me going. All right, I did. I did a little. I did a shot of espresso. Coming into my world. Exactly, mm. and it got me a little up, little tris. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> little tris, little tris. I'm up. You know what I'm saying? So it got me focused. I'm almost like the linebacker looking at the quarterback right before he go hike. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm. like this. But you know one thing. Mm. You know one. You know one thing. You have, uh, 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 supreme highs have supreme lows. Mm-hmm. When you're up high, make sure that you do what you got to do before you crash. That's true. Mm-hmm. You do a crash, right? but T T just brings you through. T raises stoic. more serotonin. Is that more of that mellow? Brother, brother, don't disrespect. Chill. Oh, oh, you ain't disrespecting the no. tea heads, okay? Because we can do a tea. It could be a good tea, tea, tea versus yeah. coffee. You know what I'm saying? Well, but we I'm don't want to do that because we, okay. we need we need coffee drinks. Tea most Man. commonly no will raise serotonin levels, whereas coffee more commonly will raise dopamine levels. Mm. Oh, you know what I'm right. saying? All right, say that again. So tea raises serotonin, right? With most of the leaves. Most leaves, because there are some that do raise dopamine also. Okay. But uh, uh, most, le- most, most tea will raise serotonin. That's why you get very mellow and chill and relaxed. That's that serotonin vibe. Right. Dopamine. Well, hold on, brother. Have you, have, have you had experience with no, tea? There's still caffeine. Yeah, there's there's still caffeine. caffeine. I'm not talking about the caffeine, though. Choose your next Because you will wisely. have energy, but it still raise serotonin. So it's... It's not an energy thing. It's not necessarily. It's a hormonal thing. Right. So mm. when you're raising more serotonin with tea, you're raising dopamine more with coffee. Right. Caffeine to the side. Because tea, different teas have different levels of caffeine. Same with some coffees have different levels of caffeine. But uh, caffeine to the side, you're going to get more. Because it's leaves, because it's you know mostly tea, the tea is going to be raised more serotonin. So you will get that mellow vibe. Even the ones with caffeine, you'll have energy, but you'll be still kind of chill. Right. That's that tea vibe. That's why it's good mm. for meditation. Right. To have tea. Coffee and meditation right. may not be as optimal as tea and meditation. Right. You know what I mean? So coffee is great to get work done, raise dopamine, raise uh overall energy levels. It's more of an alertness going on yeah. and everything. But yeah, you'll notice the difference. You gotta experiment back and forth. For me personally, I can't mess with tea. I understand. I mean, it's for everybody. It's, it's yeah. not for everybody, you know yeah, what I mean? I'm tired. Of, let's, let's, let's keep the tea level. Yeah. <laughs> you got matcha. You got different styles. Yeah. Okay. Ma- we don't come with the latte. But even though they do it, Starbucks will be throwing up there some latte. We even so, <laughs> And I don't say go to, we go to somewhere else. Right, right. We go to high class tea. Mm. No, no. High class tea spots mm-hmm. and high class coffee now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to Starbucks. Yeah. No disrespect. Man. <laughs> no, dis- no, no disrespect. I disrespect Starbucks. What? How you feeling? Talk I, about it. Yo. Let's go. Listen, all I'm going to say is I went to a I, real I coffee spot. Starbucks. And that coffee got me really. It's a, it's, a, it's, a better, it's a better spot. You know what I mean? Starbucks is like McDonald's to me. You know what I mean? <gasps> yeah, that's right. I said it. I said it. I want everybody to know that. Starbucks nowadays is the is the McDonald's of coffee. Yep, that's right. And I'm I'm proud to say because all the mom and pop shops, I'd rather go to the mom and pop shops to get my my stuff. You know, I can yeah. see that. I can. You know what I mean, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Good it's, it's, it's love there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna say like it's like love there. Though. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? It's love there. Love is very important. You know what I mean? And if there's love in the coffee, because Starbucks workers they don't love they they don't love their stuff. <laughs> you know, they just kind of like. They kind of just workers. They they just the nine to five got people. You know, they just working for a job, a paycheck. They're not putting love in those coffees. Right. We go, we go to that coffee spot that I like going to. Shout out to them. You know what I mean? Right. Um, they they put heart and love. They you know they actually invite you. They talk to you and with like a real expression. When I go to Starbucks, it's like fake. It's like, hey, how you how you doing today? And I'm like, go cool, cool. I mean, what you got going on? They just give me generic answers. Listen, you go to the mom and pop shops, they really trying to get to know me. You know what I mean? They really trying to understand who I am. They, right. they actually 
ask me about my projects I'm working on. And that's love right there. That's real love, you know? I got to appreciate real love because there's a realness to it. Exactly. Starbucks, Starbucks is like a fake energy. It's like, it's like when you go on dates and, you know, like you're trying to put up a facade, you know what I mean? No, yeah. I want no facade when I'm going on a date with my coffee, you know what I mean? I want, I want something real. I want a real experience with my coffee. I don't take over a hundred dollars bills. Or tea, you know what I mean? Tea too, you know what I mean? That's why I like going to the, the real, the real ancient, you know, ancient tea spots, you know, where they got the Asian dude in the background. You know what I mean, he's he's dead looking at me like, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> you know, you know what you're talking about when you say oolong and master choice and all that type of stuff. Come on, you know I be knowing, you know what I mean, I be knowing. So, look, what he's talking about is uh, tea ceremonies and and stepping in. Well, having experience and doing other things and having different type of experiences is where you can go into other type of fields is always good for you. It's good for the mind because you're raising your consciousness to another level now. Mm -hmm. See, it's called the experience. The person who learns off the other person who does the experiment is even wiser. So you have wise people who go into the experience and those who watch the person going into the experience, it's... Even uh, uh, see how we all help each other. How the egos, the ecosystem goes mm -hmm. with wisdom is the same way as in the food uh, system, as we must say per mm -hmm. se. <laughs> yeah, you know. Now when I start going in there, I'm gonna start doing because uh, I I used to do um, um, Raheem. I have my do rack Raheem. I have my do rack, uh -huh. but I have another professor. Professor Brother Glow, Professor Glow. And I'm doing, <laughs> right. So when I read books and stuff like that, you have to get you have to get a little bit crumb TV in the building. You gonna come down? It's gonna be on. He already told me a couple of things. He's gonna be going um, into today. It's going to be incredible, man. Mm -hmm. You be watching these movies. You having these these experience. Changing your, your 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 mind state, moving around, and he channels. You're channeling things. I was born. Challenge things. It, it's a challenge. Let's mm -hmm. say channels. Yep. Channel. You watch, it's channeling something because it's showing you uh, the world, the future world. Past could be fa past world, but things to come. Power. Lights. It's all a setup. It's all a setup. It's a beautiful right. setup, too. You might get some pop. Let me give you some popcorn. Have that salt. It's right. almost like when you're at a bar. You know what I'm saying? Sister Asia. Hey. hey. Peace, peace, peace. I just said peace, <laughs> peace, peace, peace. No doubt. Word. No doubt. Peace to Sister Asia. Sister. And they got on the right shirts. This is Don Lopez, and we didn't know. Don Lopez, we peace. Be oh, wow. Same Wow, hey, really? <laughs> Seeking this is right there. Well, we got we got a spot for you. Hey. Word, no doubt. How you doing? No, What's no. good? Hello. Word, how you I know doing? we we talking hey. to you. Huh? She We're corrupt. Uh, oh yeah, yes, yeah, the bro. Okay, okay, okay. We're talking about it over here. Over here. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah, talking yeah, into yeah, the yeah. fourth dimension. It's all good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, where where AD at? <laughs> Nah, it's all good. You okay? Yeah, 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 it's all good though. We 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 still looking. We still looking fine. I think, I think Crumb is. Let me see if he's getting ready. He might be ready. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh oh, Crumb is there. You gotta let him in. Peace. Peace. This is the Asia. King. Peace, peace. How you peace. Doing? Peace. Queens and King out there. Turn the mic on, Ad. Yeah. Sprite yeah, take Peace and blessings, queens and kings. Sister Asia here. Happy Woo Wednesday. Yeah. A blessing to be here, to give praise and thanks to our creator, to our ancestors. You guys already know. Hey. Shout out to you. You want to tell them they come up to? Um, yeah, I'm going to bring her up. In Today we got a lovely guest. It's going to be crazy. Uh, this brother comes on here. And I think Crumb is waiting in the background. And it's always interesting when he comes through and um, drops some knowledge because this is all we're about. We love the knowledge that's come through. We love the, uh, the understanding, the wisdom. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, brother. You teach them. Hey, <laughs> if I may say, 
I had to rewind and rewind your video, brother. Oh. The animation that clicks with your words. Thank you. OMG. Hey. That is one of the dopest videos that's out on YouTube right now. Make sure you guys catch the killer priest. The valley of, of uh, or the native, uh, both of them. Right? Both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mortal light. A mortal light and the valley of eternal flames. No doubt. Yes. Valley of E.T. <laughs> I tell you, I've, I am remembering, I am re-vibing, I am just so thankful to be watching that video, Priest. Hey. What you bring to the table and what you share with the world, your knowledge, your wisdom, you give understanding to where most of us overstand. We don't understand, Ooh. we overstand. Oh, wow. Two shots for that. One more shot for that. <laughs> Give praise and thanks. All praises do. Praise. Yeah, uh, so we got um shout out to everybody that's coming through Overkill in the building. Let's see uh well David Flores, Immortal Light. Yeah, he there's David Flores. David Flores, we we got some stuff, man, that we doing that's gonna be crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Exactly. So he said, uh, peace to the uh, podcraft, peace to the podcraft, giving thanks for life today is my solar return born day. Oh, a lot of Geminis are in the building. Peace and blessings. Happy born day. Remember, your birthday is when mom and dad were creating you. Mm. That's your birthday yeah. when you were planted in your mom's womb. But your born day is when you come out of the womb. Mm. Your birthday is when mom and dad were creating you. Your born day is when you come out of the womb. Happy born day. Your age times 12. Divide that answer by nine. And to my right, let me introduce to you guys, Don Lopez. And as you notice, we both have the same <laughs> t-shirt on as, as we did not plan this, but she was my blessing in my ride today. Right. So we'll get her hooked up in a minute and... Welcome to Killer Priest Life Pot Craft on YouTube. Blessings to be here and nice meeting you all. Nice meeting you. Peace, peace. Nice meeting you. And we call we we call it here T shirts. It's like could be so yeah. tea. <laughs> <laughs> call it tea in here. Yeah. Right. So. right. Yeah, somebody said teach and with a T E A. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. From yeah. in the Thank building. You. He in the back. He in the, you got him in? Hey. It said teach. That's a T E A. That sound like the old school uh, song. Mm. So yeah, yeah, yes. With <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you you say with the horseman, right? Yeah. Right, the four horsemen. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So I was with them in the studio and with M eighty. They had the green screen with Bishop Lamont there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. It's a family reunion. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah. Shout out to Bishop Lamont. Yeah. Man. Yes, Bishop. Bro. I spoke with him yesterday, brother. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mm. that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. yeah, I saw that, brother, a couple of times. Me, him, and Raz. Yeah, yeah uh, Raz was there, too. <laughs> yeah, right. I spoke to Razzy, Razzy, too. And Raz, I said I would hit you up when I got here mm -hmm. because the way Raz, Kaz, and I met. Yeah. An incredible story. Mm. I got to have his permission to go public how we met, but it oh, wow. is divine. It is a beautiful story. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's a, okay. <laughs> the <laughs> ships, the mother ships. Yeah. yeah. Came here. Yo, shout out to Raz Cash. That's my brother right there. All day long. Um, yeah, Raz, man. Uh, you spoke to him today? I spoke yes, to him last night. Oh, last night. Yeah. Shout out to Raz. Raz, mm -hmm. if you're there, shout out to you, my brother. Word, hit me up. Hit me up. For real. Uh, now, it was about that time. That questions. And, and uh, make sure you hit that super chat. Make sure y'all hit that like. We have, uh, we have a super mind coming to the stage right mm -hmm. now. Word. And his name... Uh, goes by the he's he's been here before and he he, he goes by uh the man I call him the great crumb yes, he's the master student 
You see how she had reversed it? Mm-hmm. And sometimes I know a brother named Number Two. Ever, and we asked him, shout out to Number Two out there in Chi Town. He mm-hmm. said, Well, why you, why you name yourself Number Two? He said, Because everybody want to be Number One. <laughs> That's true, right? <laughs> he got that. Uh, uh. Yeah, sometimes you got to come in sec- second place. The winner is the second place. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, right, we switched the rules around, but this is the man. master student, man. Ladies and gentlemen, without no further ado, Crump, master student from Crump TV. Peace, peace. Peace without Crump. Peace and love, uh, family. How are you? Oh, man. Hey, we- Good man, great, chilling. Great. Somebody said they blowing that, yeah. They said blowing some uh, backwards. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, I read something too quick. Go ahead. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor. It's a pleasure. I'm humbled. I'm grateful. Happy Woo Wednesday. Shout out to all of the family. Hey. Uh, yeah, I wanted to echo that sentiment. Valley of the Eternal Flames. Oh. Hot sauce family. Heat. No pun intended. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no you. doubt. No doubt. Yeah. It's out on all platforms right now. You can get it. It's just a little leak that we did. But um, thank you so much, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. AD, AD um, play with the, the little things that you've been doing, put a little stuff in there. And uh, and then that's what it was, man. That's what it was. Just working, you know? Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> I, I wanted to also mention I... Uh, as I said, I would be. I am prepared with my uh, mug of tea. Hey, we got mugs too. Yeah, mug shots. Hey. Yeah, we're going to do some mug, mug shots. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. Yeah, let me get this. Start brewing something up. Yeah. Man. Peace, Chrome. What's good, man? What's up? All is well. All is truly well. How are you, Coach Solomon? Chilling, man. Enjoying myself. Keep elevating. Keep doing my thing, you know? Every day. <laughs> doing my thing and see so you doing your thing too, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. What's yeah, up? Well, actually, no. Uh, because I'm going to be talking about Star Wars, one of the famous quotes from Yoda is, there is no try, only do. Mm. So. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Of a Star Wars fan, I'm not gonna lie, I caught some Star Wars when I was young. <laughs> what Yoda said? Yeah, 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 yeah. There is no such thing as try. You know, he says backwards, but yeah, something uh. to the effect: there is no trying, only do. Mm. Great Yoda. Mm. Great Yoda. I also want to um, give respects to the ladies, uh, the Earths. I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Peace and love. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Give praise and thanks. Big shout out to Carol and Fourth Disciple out there on the East Coast. They just text me. They're watching live. Peace and blessings. Kind Hearts Media. Kind powered heart. by Proof. They doing stuff out there. Yes, they are. And blessings on the new dwelling. Blessings. Also, big big shout out to Sound Daddy himself, AD. Peace and love, brother. How are you? Yeah, uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. Good to see you. I, I see you've been submitting tracks into our song promotion segment. Yeah, I'm going to uh, switch it up as well because, you know, I want to give back to those who have given so much to me. So uh, oh. even though right now I have my uh, my crumb mug, I'm going to get the uh, Killer Priest mug. And oh. uh, I don't yeah. know about the hat. Cause, oh. <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out. Absolutely. So you'll see me uh, with that also. I, I I was thinking about the hat, but I can't really fit these things. So I was probably going to get the tea. So yeah, you're going to see more from me. Shout out to Killer Priest and the family. All the merch. Uh, go cop that family. Yeah. And cop that Chrome TV merch too. We know yeah. you know it's out there. Yeah. Exactly. You know, support both. Exactly. Yeah. Blessings to you, brother. <laughs> Gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Well, Without as of further. as of this evening, I had a uh, PowerPoint that I wanted to present. Could I share yep. screen? With In you? fact, I think I have you already set. Go for it. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Yes, sir. You are correct. Okay, so uh, this is the the real history behind Star Wars. Mm. Um, my source material is coming from History Channel themselves. 
and their article is titled The Real History That Inspired Star Wars. Historical fi figures and events informed George Lucas as he created his sci-fi saga in a galaxy far, far away. So uh, here, here it goes. When George Lucas developed the storyline for Star Wars and crafted his heroes and villains, he tapped into elements of theology, mysticism, and mythology, as well as his knowledge of classic films. And befitting a story set a long time ago, real life history also played a central role in shaping the filmmaker's space opera. So this is uh, Boston Global in an article titled, His Galaxy is Not That Far Out Here, uh, Out There. Lucas opens up, finally, about Star Wars influences. And here's the quote. I love history. So while the psychological basis of Star Wars is mytholo mythological, the political and social bases are historical, mm. Lucas told Boston Globe in 2005, in a 2005 interview. Mm. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Brother Rasul. Mm. Um, he is a huge Star Wars fan. Yeah, um, <laughs> he is. And I knew I had to bring my receipts if I was going <laughs> to yeah, <he's gonna>. possibly. <laughs> Hold on. It's a, it's right. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. I still have all the little figures I bought for my son. Oh, yeah? He has the whole collection, the Star Wars, the, what is it called? The Galaxy? Yeah. Mm. That, all the little soldiers, the little figures. Yeah. Isaac has it all. Yeah. Every Isaac. week nice. after school, sure. I would go and get the Star Wars figures wow. for him. Hey. Ooh. Wow. My Star Wars Open baby. up your mind right there. <laughs> oh. Egyptian Mystery School. <laughs> this is Sue. Shout out to Sue. The Egyptian Mystery School. Call it e -M -E -M -S. Go ahead. In fact, the filmmaker is such a history buff that he collaborated in the publication of the 2013 book, Star Wars and History, which was edited by history professors Nancy Somebody and Janice Somebody Else. <laughs> Written by a dozen leading historians and reviewed and confirmed by Lucas, Star Wars and History identifies the numerous real life figures and events that inspired the science fiction franchise, including the following. Wow. That's right, family. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's right, family. Got got <laughs> Man, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it. Wow. The Nazis. Mm. The elite assault forces fanatically devoted to the Galactic Empire share a common name with the paramilitary fighters who defended the Nazi party, stormtroopers. Um, I wanted to ask the, you know, the, the panel, did anybody know that the Nazis, their paramilitary was called stormtroopers as well? I actually didn't know that. Oh. Nope. Wow, wow, really? But it, it is easy to see that correlation because there's a lot of that, especially in the later uh, episodes to see how similar it is, especially mm. when they start destroying planets. Yeah, and the and you see all the stormtroopers lined up. It's like, well, that looks very familiar. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh huh. Um, Ad, can you hear my sound effects? Uh, briefly, it came in. I don't know if you have a noise gate on it, but uh, I did hear you had like a laugh track come in, but it was short. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, go. Yeah, I hear it. Okay. Okay. Cool. I hear it, yeah. It's right too. Nice. Proceed. So, gratitude. Just want to bring some receipts. So this says um, the Storum Botling, you know, pardon me, my uh, German is off. Right. Literally, Stormtroopers was the original paramilitary wing of the Nazi party. You know, I don't want to read a bunch of extra stuff. That's pretty much the, the smoking gun right there. Hmm. And there's the Stormtroopers insignia. I meant to get the insignia that the Star Wars Stormtroopers was wearing. I was just curious, but I forgot. So I say we uh, continue on, unless anybody wants to add value. Mm -hmm. 
Does anybody want to add something to that? Um, you can continue. I know the Imperial and the uh, Rebellion have two different symbols, but uh, yeah, I don't see any correlation necessarily with the oh, shapes. The circle and, you know, I mean, the. Uh, yeah, it's like the, cir- it's well, the circle. One of them is a hexagon. Uh, hexagon. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Uh. Which can perfectly fit a Jewish symbol. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Good correlation. Anyway, proceed. So, as I was saying earlier, the elite assault forces fanatically devoted to the Galactic Empire. Why? I'm sorry. The, actually, that's not what I wanted to do. I was getting ahead of myself. My apologies. <laughs> but yeah, um, the Galactic Empire share a common name. Uh, not the name part. European... Okay, here we go. The Imperial officers' uniforms resemble those worn by World War II German Army members. So on the right side, you see the uh, uniforms of the Imperial officers of Star Wars. And on the left side, you see the Imperial officers of the uh, Third Reich. Oh! Yep. Yeah, Mm. that is true. Hey. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I had to drink to that one. Whistle blowing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Darth Vader. Vader's Darth Vader's helmet resembles um, those worn in World War II by German army members. Wow. Yeah, wowzers. Um, yeah, you can put I'm not in, sure. What... Put that in perspective. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. You can't. You can't make this ish up. Mm-hmm. Also, the gradual rise of Palpatine from Chancellor to Emperor, and we can see here in these little cards, the first one is Chancellor Palpatine, and he's nice, he has a smile, and you know, whatever the case may be. And on the right side, it says Emperor Palpatine, same dude. He just got his little evil thing going on now. Um, but yeah, the gradual rise of Palpatine from Chancellor to Emperor is the same what my thing is out of order is right here is is a similar political ascent that mirrored adolf hitler when he rose from chancellor Mm. just like palpatine but instead of being uh what is palpatine emperor he was dictator Mm. it, it was the same ascension but what I had wanted to point out earlier is when I was talking about these stormtroopers who were fanatically de- devoted to the Galactic Empire, I found it really interesting that they would even call it the Galactic Empire mm. for the simple fact that now this right here, oh, I don't have a date on this, European Jesus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you a bitch. That was one of his, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> good one. That's a good one. I like, I like that one. <laughs> European cheese. <laughs> oh, European cheese. <laughs> man. Right. Uh, that's a good one. I like that one. I like that one, Chrome. Yo. But um, this was when. Trump was in office, as you can tell, but it was, let's say, 2022, sometime around then. It reads, former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist and Trump knows about it. And Mm. it's the little sub line that really caught me because we know in um, in, uh, Star Wars, it was a galactic empire. But now you're going to have with the former Israeli space security, they're calling it a galactic federation, empire federation, tomato, tomato. A galactic federation has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand dot, 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 what space and spaceships are. This is from from ABC News, I believe. This is this is official tissue. This isn't, you know, uh. Black Power Space Seed Star Seed Illuminati dot com. <laughs> Doesn't that make it more suspect though that it's coming from ABC News? Touche, touche, absolutely. So, let me, uh, so I saw one 
was recently from the Vegas one that they uh oh yeah the Vegas one yeah they had a Ooh. Vegas one just recently but we Bro. only we only saw one angle oh yep Uh-oh. they didn't show anything they I want to see multiple angles it was a family that just said that they saw something I mean it was they said it was it was too big uh people that came out and they actually right. yeah you see that yes. yeah and then the men crazy. in black came in and took everything away in SUVs what the kid said was say- he seen right but he frozen yeah so, mm. and a couple of people said they right. seen it it's like i mean if i wanted to bring out a phone and video it i'd be scared at what their reaction <laughs> right, would be right, so right. i mean it kind of makes sense why they wouldn't but I mean, it's, right yeah mm. it's an interesting story crazy yeah, yeah it's interesting <laughs> it, it correlates i mean everything is synch- synchronicity i'll tell you it, it 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 adds up to what mm-hmm. you're talking about absolutely Uh-oh. well the final scene of the original 1977 star wars in which princess leia awards medals to the rebel heroes luke skywalker and han solo echoed the massive nazi rallies in Nuremberg captured in the 1937 propaganda film triumph of the will so i put them side by side this is star wars on the right and this is the nazi propaganda film on the left and a lot of people this isn't just me i think it was you know it's on reddit i will admit but Mm -hmm. um a lot of people on reddit was like hey you know this is a very interesting par- parallel this right here wasn't in the um the book that i uh referenced in the very beginning as my source material however um this is a part of the layers of occultism or even you know bad guy admiration because this is where the good guys you know like some people i think there was a movie that said hey what if the Nazis really won and this whole thing is just a whatever but nonetheless I'll mm-hmm. let the listening audience the uh the craft room decide is this a um re reenactment of a Nazi film in Star Wars or is it not I'll let you decide that because we also have to consider that the yeah, AD's the expert on how how they would um want to portray an organized army they want to show that the uh, the rebellion is strong, the rebellion is organized. They have a proper military as they should, so that they can protect their their peoples. So by showing the alignments, the the formation, everyone standing in formation, kind of gives a marine like look too, because if we see the way marines will stand, uh, you know, with, during their ceremonies, it can be somewhat similar. At the end of the day, it just comes down to see, is this army doing bad stuff or is this army doing good stuff? Is this army representing a good leader or a bad leader? Do you know what I mean? But uh, we do have to keep in mind that there is probably a, um, you know, formula for having an organized military. Right? Mm, I'm I'm just putting my perspective because it, I mean, even though it's a rebellion, It's great to see that the the rebellion is strong. They're they're standing at attention. They're showing pride. You know, if they're not just some a bunch of chaotic savages that are like, yeah, you know, they're showing uh, discipline and you know the proper kind of patriarchy, if you will, for their their side, which is you know the the rebellion. Mm. You know what I mean? But. I don't want to dip too much into your knowledge because I know you probably, I don't want to say something that you're already going to speak on later. Yeah, but because I got questions. Man, but I think you're going in. This I know you're going, yeah, this is great. You know, I, w- I want to know about them lifesavers. Oh, shit. Ooh. Yes. That's a whole thing. <laughs> and Princess Leia. That's a whole thing. <laughs> Please we proceed. We're we here for you. Yeah. That's right. Gratitude. Gratitude. So, um, the last time I talked about Star Wars, Russell and I had kind of got into a, uh, well, he corrected me. He kept me honest is what I would like to say. Uh, we were referencing Star Wars, the Clone Wars. I thought Disney had bought Star Wars and brought this out, but this came out before Disney bought them, which was mm-hmm. a, a small um, uh, error on my part. But nonetheless, uh, you know, I always say to keep me honest. So nonetheless, in the cartoon Star Wars, Clone Wars, 
all of the army were clones. Like if you look closely, this this is all the same guy, just like with different facial hair or maybe a tattoo or whatever the case may be. But they were all the same dude. Well, that was the same thing with Hitler. Um, their their army was a clone army. That was that was all one dude. They're all the same height, wow. same shoe size, same everything. The first clone war was in World War Two. Mm. Now, the History Channel put this out um, as of July 18th, 2019. Question. Why the Nazis were I'm sorry, why the Nazis were obsessed with twins? Horrifying medical experiments on twins helped Nazis justify the Holocaust. They were doing duplication experiments this, this isn't even conspiracy theory this is out in the open everybody knows they were obsessed with the whole duplication process genetically with humans so you know i don't want to get too far out um there was even a comic i think it was marvel who um it was probably marvel nine out of ten yeah. uh and and the clip says well actually you can look in the back it says um from left to right, uh, JFK, Albert Einstein, Lex Luthor, hmm. Elvis Presley, so on and so forth, but uh, in these big vats. But it says, uh, like all good geniuses, the masters couldn't resist an experiment. Afterward, they were sorry they cloned us. Mm. Yeah. Well, they they did a whole movie about this whole clone wars thing. I wanted to ask not only the panel but the listening audience: Has anybody ever seen the movie Boys of Brazil? Uh, no. He's actually our question. Come on, come on, chat room, let's come alive. Yep. No one up, up, up here uh, seen that. Okay. Well, I'm sure because we 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 about two hundred deep in here. Um, mm. I'm sure somebody has seen the movie Boys of Brazil. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Um, in the movie, well, the, the actual whole movie is about cloning Hitler. Uh-huh. Um, oh. And in essence, there was a cloning program per the movie going on in Germany because this is post World War II. But during World War II, this dude right here is a part of Hydra, the deep state arm or department or branch of the uh, Third Reich. And he was a part of a program to clone people and in, in including including Hitler. And after the war, he goes looking for one of the clones and, you know, the clone is sadistic and the clone tortures him. It, it it's a crazy wild movie. And as you can mm. see, it has a dark and yeah. whatever ending. Mm, I can read really about the mm. cover. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So, you know, this whole idea of nazi german cloning isn't far-fetched too far off um and you know this is in south america and argentina because a lot of nazis fled to argentina during the number of trials uh but i digress mm. but um this whole thing with them cloning i want to kind of bring it down to earth in terms of science it was under the um the title of eugenics. Uh, has anybody heard of that? No. Yeah. I have. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I'm going to uh, go through it, and I'm sure I'm going to drop some names that will refresh you. But for, real quickly, these two bullets. It says, the science of using control selection. Uh, I'm sorry. The science of using controlled selective breeding to improve hereditary qualities of Mm. the human race. Mm. The sub bullet in blue says, eugenic theory encompassed both two things, positive eugenics and negative eugenics. We always talk about negative eugenics, which is the second bullet, which reads aims to prevent those deemed physically, mentally, or morally unfit to procreate, generally by sterilization Mm. or segregation. Um, but we never talk about positive eugenics, which encouraging uh, reproduction of those genetically fit 
This is passed on from America to Germany, mm. uh, the Nazi regime in particular. That makes me think of like dogs, like already. <laughs> what we do with dogs, how we try to breed them to make, you know, very different type of uh, elements of dogs. Are you on point with that? Is because that's why you have a German Shepherd, you have a British. Those dogs, I've heard that um, they were created over there in Europe because his scientists, after the war, or whatever, when they when when he lost, the those scientists they they didn't have nothing else to do, so they started experimenting and cloning on dogs, and that's why you got so many breeds of different dogs, and they coming over to the British bulldog, the mm -hmm. pit, right, and they putting right. all these the uh, dogs together, mm -hmm. and they created with that that mad scientist, and they just put it on the dogs. They mm -hmm. had nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Crazy. I've noticed that they coming from over there in Germany. And then in British, the British pit bull, they got right. the the terrier, different type of terriers and stuff like that. So yeah. yeah. Uh KP, have you heard of that new breed in the hood called um the bullies? Like like That's exactly you know, what I'm talking about. Yep. Bullies? Yeah. So it's like a bull. My man shout out to Vel. He got every dog breed there is. <laughs> so it was like a it was that bull it was like a bully so bulldog is what is that yeah little bullies you can't yeah they like these, yeah go ahead no no please yeah they're small some of these dogs they, they have trouble you have to you have to help them have the puppies because they're not like even the real they're like frankers yeah yeah frenchies mm -hmm. frenchies mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. bullies they have these they have so many kind of, and you have to help them have babies because they're they're all they're clones Right, they're not even real. And some of them look like dolls. You ever seen some? They look like they look like dolls and stuff like that. People be mm. home, and it's like crazy. Their heads are too big to come out of the the, the, the vagina. Right, that dog, makes sense. I could, dog. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I heard of bullies. I've seen them. They have big big heads, and you see, and you can tell they clone because sometimes <laughs> you ever saw a liger, the tiger. Yeah, there you go. And it, you see how wobbly and goofy they are? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some of these dogs be goofy. <laughs> you no, know, some of them, they, just, they can't even stand right. up straight. They slide down. They have this weird one that, that almost talks. <laughs> that's crazy. The clones, yo. Wow, Man. that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. You breaking it down? Go on, Grom, go, go on. <laughs> yeah, um, on that theme or that aspect of it i want to say 90 percent of all dog breeds didn't even exist 100 years ago mm, i agree with that yeah like you know like the whole frankenstein franken food a lot of these foods is is, is clones and you know oh, mystery so meat yeah that's crazy, yeah. yo. Mystery meat. Wow. And it's funny because these dogs can't even survive in like society. Like if if everything were to go crazy, like they can't survive on their own. You know what I mean? They, they only they only could survive because of us. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? They Miniature can't. Do Dobermans. When did that come out? <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. right. I remember Doberman was like <laughs> Doberman. Got, yeah, they was big. They got knocked out by the Rockwaller. Mm. Then they got the Marines, the Pit. <laughs> crazy, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Oh, what, uh, you got a dog this little. They be having it in their, their pocket. Oh, like, yeah, what yeah, do yeah. Eat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, a wolf, a wolf will take that over <laughs> right away, you know? <laughs> Pigeons. That's what a rabbit right. put. Man. Yeah. Back one down in a dog park. That's crazy. He had a jackrabbit about this big, and um, it, it took one of the... Yeah, not mine. I think it's <laughs> yeah. Man. Going, but yeah, those are are uh, a, a prominent Victorian 18th century breeding program. Um, you know, nothing different from what their father taught them, Yakub. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. To the so, uh, <laughs> But oh, real quickly, and, and then I'll address this particular slide. Uh, one out of every three Dalmatians is born deaf; they can't hear. Mm. Um, Mm. Cocker spaniels, they um, their brain is too big for their skull, so they suffer from seizures. Oh wow! Um, mm. A lot of these big breeds, the 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 hips can't support the frame. So you know, a lot of mm. times you'll see these uh, German shepherds, and they got 
old man hips, the way they look really small in the back and big in the front. Mm. Um, you know, you, you know, bull master got bad hips. You know, the, they're riddled with genetic defects because of the of, of the inbreeding and you know the breeding program gone awry. You know, mm. with the pure breed aspects and all this other jive. But nonetheless, getting back to this, so PBS had released a um, thing called the, uh, on their show called the American Experience, called the Eugenics Crusade, in which they presented this blonde hair, blue eyed, um, you know, because this is pro. Um, I'm sorry, this is positive eugenics, where instead of trying to do the Planned Parenthood uh, abortions, condoms, or 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 uh, uh, pills, whatever the case may be. They're trying to propagate and, and push a uh, group of people. Now, um, with the Planned Parenthood thing I was alluding to earlier was the Negro Project was what was how the Planned Parenthood thing even started. Mm. You don't have a, a, a eugenics program. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, Charles Darwin is going to really push this in a very beginning beginning. But the two most famous people to push eugenics is going to be Hitler and, and Margaret Sanger. Uh, through her Planned Parenthood, which still survives today. And um, when she first birthed, no pun intended, when she first birthed um, Planned Parenthood, it was called the Negro Project because she was trying to get rid of us. And then Hitler picked up her playbook. Mm. She came before Hitler. Hitler comes later. Mm. Hitler studies her over here, and then he launches his campaign over in Germany. Uh, yeah, in oh, uh, wow. East Europe. What's her name again? Margaret Sanger. Mm. Uh, just she a little background like, like on her. She off a little bit, too. Now, now I'm going to tell you this about her. Um, Margaret Sanger was a flapper. Now, um, a flapper... Well, let me just see. Uh, what role did rapper, Sanger huh? play? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> flapper, yeah. go ahead. Margaret Sanger was a pioneer in women's rights for birth control. The flapper attitude was characterized by blunt truth, fast living, dot, dot, dot. So the question mm. becomes, um, what is a flapper? So a, fla a flapper back then, uh, flappers were a subculture of young Western women in the 1920s who wore short skirts, bobbed their hair, listened to jazz, and flaunted their disdain for... Um, uh, the pristine culture where we tuck our shirts in, yada yada yada. Mm. Basically, these were hot girls <laughs> <laughs> back then, right? Back then, Man. they smoked the reefer, Man. The, uh, a wacky old tobacco, school, uh huh, old school right. strippers, right? Right, the boogie boogie, a cunt, really be wow, right, right, sisters. right. Wow, Dance. yeah, they look like they throwing that thing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of short hair, though. That's a, that's a yeah, girl that's Bugsy like. You know what I mean? Like Betty Boop. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Betty Boop. Yeah, Betty Boop. That type of thing. Crazy. That's crazy. I just was watching Dorothy Dang Dangerous and um, a lot of those, those dancers back then, too. I was watching them. Very talented. Yeah, mm. the burlesque, right? O Love. Olive oil. Olive oil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Olive burlesque oil. girls. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm. under the auspice of um, twerking and women's freedom to wear short skirts and hang out in bars, you know, she pushes the whole pill thing, which mm. brings up upon the sexual revolution, um, which brings upon you know a lot of different things that were detrimental, but nonetheless, she was the one who uh, birthed the Nazi push, no pun intended when I say birth, because I know she was really a part of Planned Parenthood, which does the opposite. Uh, but nonetheless, um, if you look at these German people, um, it says, German speaking Europe. German is the main language of approximately 100 million people in Europe, or let's say 13% of all Europeans, uh, making up the second most spoken native language in Europe behind only Russians and ahead of the French. Now, we know that the French are really the Franks and the Franks are the children of uh, Charlemagne, the Frank, King Charlemagne. And Charlemagne was German. 
So your Franks or your French all come from Charlemagne, and Charlemagne was German. So when you're looking at the German people, this whole thing where they're reproducing, because this is going back to Yakub, even past him, you know, when we talk about eugenics. Um, I wanted to ask, is the family familiar with him? Uh, who, Yakub? Somewhat, somewhat. Who was? Yeah, learn a little bit. Who? Well, ac according to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Yakub was oh, yeah, a yeah. big, That's a big head. Yes, sir. A big head scientist who um, was orphaned from his parents who lived underneath the earth. And he went on to create or graph the uh, so-called white man, uh, maybe mm. called Tamahu, troglodyte, fluorod. This is all talk, lore, if you will. And um, he uh, grafted. grafted them. 6,000 years ago, approximately. And um, this can also be seen technically in the Bible in Genesis with, because when we deal with the word Yakub or the name Yakub rather, that Y is really a J. So instead of his name being Yakub, it's actually what? Jacob. Jacob. Thank you. Uh, and this is, and Jacob's name in the Bible, he was, it was changed to Israel. Yes. Um, so, so, you know, and he wrestled with the angel on Mount Pineal, but mm -hmm. that was his later story. Jacob's original story is because remember, in according to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Yaqub is raised with his uncle. According to the Bible in Genesis, Jacob is raised uh, with his uncle after he played. Because remember, Yaqub is a trickster. He's a subplanter. He's a trickster. Mm hmm. That's what according it means. to the honorable Supply. Elijah Muhammad, according to our honorable Elijah Muhammad, Yaqub uh, created the 120 degrees of technology. According to the Bible, when Jacob first came on the scene, him and his mama tricked his brother. Does anybody remember who his brother was and what trick they played on him? Let's see. It was Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Jacob and and, and his brother's name was Esau. Esau, yes. And and Jacob played a trick on Esau. Do you uh and he told him that he would sell him uh a pot of porridge for his birthright and goofy um Esau <laughs> made the deal. So then Jacob or Yakub and his mama uh dress Jacob up in fur and pass him along to his daddy and says, Oh, I'm really Esau, give me the birthright, whatever, whatever. Esau found out about it because he's like a big burly red dude. And he was like, yo, I'm going to beat the brakes off of you. So Jacob high, high tells it out of town and go lives with his uncle. This is almost identical to the story of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, where um, uh, uh, Yaqub's uncle was uh, playing some tricks on humans. His brother found out and said, listen, you can't come back to inner earth. You got to stay up there on the surface. So then Yakub's mama was, oh, matter of fact, anybody seen the movie Coneheads? I haven't. Way back in the day. But was Esau and Jacob, weren't they twins? Fraternal. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Because one was, was hairy and red, and the other one was just like a regular a dude. Fair. Yes. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. So, um, Sister Asia is fine, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Sister Asia, gratitude. <laughs> so in the movie Coneheads, the mama's name was Ma'at. Wow, really? Wow. Elongated in the movie heads. Coneheads, the mama's name was Ma'at. Mm. So um, these people, they are similar to the people. Uh, uh, um, she, she is Yakub's mama. Yakub's mama was of the, the fair skin race and Yakub's daddy was, was dark skin. So, um, <clears throat> Yakub, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, goes in the Bible, Jacob goes with his uncle and he starts playing with sheep, uh, sheep that have color, sheep that don't have color. And then, um, in the story of the honorable Elijah Muhammad, Jacob, or I'm sorry, Yakub is playing with magnets and he tells his uncle one day he's going to grow up and cause mischief and so on and so forth. But I digress. This 
grafting program through the Germans. Because mm, remember, it's funny Yaku- man of steel. <laughs> Superman <Woo>! was <laughs> Superman ended up being a man of steel. Just add knowing. Go ahead. Does anybody know the root word of German? Uh, the germ of German? Germ. Yaku was playing with germs. Mm. The germ of man. Correct. Mm. Um, mm. culturaldiplomacy.org the article is titled Famous German Americans German Americans make up the largest self-reportedly ancestry group within the United States now remember they're the number one people in Europe because they're also the French mm. um, and they're also the number one ethnic group of people in America there are more Germans in America than any other European ethnicity wow yes ma'am uh, uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. No, <laughs> it's all good, brother. And Germany, being next to the country, I'm half European. Germany and Holland, because the Dutch language and the German language, I can understand German. I speak Dutch fluently, and when I hear German speak, I can understand them. Our languages are so fami- are so similar. Ich habe jullie allemaal. Ich sit hier auf the live. Pot craft fund, killer priest fund, the Wu Tang clan. Hot second, Yuli Alamal. So, Wu Tang is Wu Tang clan. Wu Tang clan. <laughs> that sounds hard. Yeah. Wu Tang clan. Man. That's some hip hop Rammstein right there. Man. When I say Wu, you say Wu, <laughs> Wu Tang clan. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Also, Pennsylvania, with 3.5 million people of German ancestry, has the largest population of German Americans. So there's more Germans anywhere. Where are all the Germans at? They're in Pennsylvania. Um, and, and even in Pennsylvania, you're going to know they're famous for the Amish. The, the Amish are Germans. The Dutch are Germans. The French are Germans. But I thought, mm. if it all ain't Dutch, it ain't are. much. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't what? If it ain't Dutch, mm-hmm. it ain't much. All right. Mm-hmm. We, they played a game master. called du- Double Dutch. Double mm-hmm. Dutch, yes. I was the champion when I came to America. Yeah. That was wow. my thing. Jump roping, double Dutch with ropes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that? The rope that bind? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. You know, everything sinks up there. I love Double Dutch. They don't do that no more. Too much, right? Mm. No. Not from what I know. It's- everything is. I'm on the computer. Mm. They've entered the net. Yeah. Let's go. One last point. So according to Britain, I'm sorry, according to history.com in an article titled Britain's King George V changes royal surname, it reads, question, is the royal family actually German? Answer, on June 19th, 1970, during the third year of World War I, Britain's king ordered the British royal family to dispense with the use of German titles and surnames, changing their name, uh, changing the surname of his own family. Uh, They decided uh, the decidedly Germanic Saxe Coburg Gotha to Windsor. Mm -hmm. These are Germans, the royal British family. Mm -hmm. But now that I've beaten that horse, um, Going back to World War II, there was a thing called Operation Paperclip. Uh, It happened from 1945 to 1955. Uh, The paperclip granted nearly 1,000 German scientists American citizenship. Many had been longtime members of the Nazi Party and the Gestapo and had conducted experiments on humans of concentration camps and committed other war crimes. The scientists ended up in the U.S. military industrial complex, worked with the CIA, NASA, and more. One of the Nazi experiments that continued in America was mind control, known as CIA's Project MK Ultra. these Jedi mind tricks. But if you look at these two gentlemen on the outside, the first one to the far left is Werner von Braun. Now, I don't want to say W. I want to put my little uh, German accent on as well. A U is round at the bottom. That W is really a double V. Mm. That's not Werner von Braun. That's Werner mm. von Braun. That's not a swastika. That's a swastika. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh. But, uh, 
Mm. But the dude on the uh, the far right is Herman O'Berth. That's his OG. I'll talk about him in just a second. But real quick, so this started in 1945 and ended in 1955. So he was one of the first ones to go. Werner von Braun was one of the first of the... This is, this is another. This is the first too big to fail. How are we going to tear down Nazi Germany? This is too valuable. We got to absorb this. He was the first one to go. And he he clicks up with this dude right here. Anybody know who this dude right here is with Werner von Braun? Werner's Val on... I'm sorry? Walt Disney. Walt Disney. That's what I thought it looked like. That's exactly what I thought it looked like, exactly yeah. it looked like too. Open up a vault. Yeah. Uh, Walt <laughs> Disney. Yeah. Right. Mickey Mouse. So, <laughs> Werner von Braun... Mickey and Mallory. ...comes over here, teams up with Walt Disney... And and they're gonna bring you Star Wars now. Oh, Crom, you're reaching. Fine, hold on. Just give me a second. If you look up Man on the Moon, it reads is an episode of Disneyland which originally aired on December twenty eighth, nineteen fifty five. He's been over here for ten years already. It was directed by Disney animator Ward Somebody. The show hmm. begins with a humorous look with a man's fascination with the moon through animation. This segment features characteristic of the moon depicted from William Shakespeare and children's nursery rhymes to lunar superstitions and scientific research. Then Kimball comes on with some information on the moon supplemented by graphics. NASA is not is really Nazi and NASA's using CGI. I'm not a flat earther, shout out to- um, Hey, not uh, yet. Give it time, my friend. You're almost there. You're on the way. You'll never catch us. <laughs> you on the way. Keep going, my friend. There's Kimble. some truth. There's some truth in there. Yeah. Oh, oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, brother Sanchez. Shout out to brother Sanchez. Uh, then Kimball comes on with some information on the moon supplemented by graphics, CGI. Shout out all my globe heads. Kimball then introduces Dr. Werner von Braun, who this is on Disney, 1955. He introduces Dr. Werner von Braun, who discusses plans for a trip around the moon. Dr. Werner von Braun was employed as a technical consultant on this film by Walt Disney and on a number of other Disney films. He, uh, he had a great knowledge of rockets as he had helped to develop the V-2 rocket while working for Nazi Germany. Almost there, almost there. So let me just do a little quick uh, profile on uh, Von Braun. It says, uh, German, later American, aerospace engineer and space architect. He was the leading figure in the development of rocket technology in Germany and the father of rocket technology and space science. He created NASA, I mean, Nazis in the United States. That's his little profile real quick. So JFK going to bring his lily white uh, whatever. Well, we gonna go to the moon. The first man on the moon was Werner von Braun. Uh oh, uh -oh man. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at this photo right here. Nice shots. What studio was that taken at? Exactly. <laughs> this, the Disney wow. wow. When people be like, oh yeah, the um the moon landing was staged. What stage? Where? Orlando, Florida, Disney Studios. Wow. <laughs> Staged. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. I've heard that before, too, that it was at a stage that it wasn't really, they didn't go to the moon. No. Like, you went to the moon, like, how come we're not going back there all these years since the 60s? Mm. Right. Come on now. They yeah, lost yeah. the technology, but supposedly we're on Mars right now. Oh, What's really? his name? Right. Armstrong? Why, why right. we never heard an interview from him? Thank exactly. You. Wouldn't he be in an interview like all over the place? He's never did an interview. Right. We should have or a where's his star on Hollywood Boulevard? Yeah. We should Ooh. have a webcam up there right now. That's a killer right, right. there. <laughs> he should be president. Yeah. <laughs> First man to walk on the moon. Mm -hmm. Come on. Without a spacesuit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Moonwalking. There you have Fila it. B. <laughs> Word. Fila B on the live Let's chat. Thank, Thank you. you. I saw the message. Thank you. Let's go. So, yeah, um, if you Google it, July 16th, 1969 is when we supposedly yep. land on the moon. Supposedly. Uh, right, allegedly. Uh, question, is Star, uh, is Star Wars 1977 the first one? Answer, this is just a wiki article. The original film, Star Wars, was uh, released in 1977. So, Werner Von Braun, after World War II, comes to America, teams up with old boy. They, they give you the first Star Wars on the moon. Disney brought you the first Star Wars. And then um, Lucasfilms brings you Star Wars, the, the animated version, which Disney later acquisitions in 2002, I believe. Wow. Um, but yeah, um, Army Ballistic Missile Agency, Redstone um, Arsenal, Huntsville, Alabama, is where they sent him Warner Von Braun from Nazi to NASA. Mm. Um, he comes to America. Remember, when he comes to America, there is no NASA. He comes to America, then you have NASA. That's the timeline. Um, but remember, I told you, his OG, his big homie, is a guy by the name of Herman O'Berth. He's the father. This is not, now, um, um, Werner Von Braun is the father over here. Oberf is the father over there in Europe, in Germany. He's the father of rocketry and space travel. The father of space travel? What do you mean? I didn't know you guys traveled space. Shh. Anyway, he said, we cannot take credit for our recorded advancement in certain scientific fields alone. We've been helped. When asked by whom, he replied, the people of other worlds. That's wow. what he said. Yeah. Other worlds, plural. Yeah. Not world. He said worlds. Mm. Ooh, tap in. Wow. Star Trek. Load up. Just load up. Just loading up with one. <laughs> Later on. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> Not only Star, uh, Star Trek, but also... Um, Ultimate Avengers 2, also titled Ultimate Avengers Rise of the Panther, is an animated movie sequel to Ultimate Avengers and the second film in the Marvel animated features released in 2006. Here's the plot. In the fortified African nature, nation of Wakanda, the inhabitants of the small city nation welcome home T'Challa, the son of T'Chaka. Mm. Members of the extraterrestrial Chitauri race attract the attention of T'Chaka's alter ego, the Black Panther. T'Chaka is murdered by uh, her Kleiser, their commander, the, the aliens, who continues to ad adapt a form of a Nazi commandant. T'Challa inherits the throne and Black Panther tech swearing vengeance against Kleiser. So when when because remember, in, in this cartoon series, Black Panther and Captain America are clicked up. So right. Captain America goes and uh, attacks Kleiser in the Hydra deep state division of the Nazi regime. And once he busts into the Hydra, I'm sorry, not deep, it's deep science. Once he busts into the Hydra deep science laboratory, he finds the Nazi uh, scientists from Operation Paperclip Working with aliens. Why is this wow. important? Oh, birth told you that. Wow. 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 E.T. And they released the information through the movies. Right. Yeah. I see uh, that now. So much Nazi uh, correlation with Captain America alone. If you watch Winter Soldier also. Yep. Well, in general. Like, yeah, that's a little Captain America, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. He's going in. Do you remember back in the day the the show they used to have called Lost in Space? Mm -hmm. Danger Little mm -hmm. Robinson. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they they created all of those sci-fi. There was no sci-fi genre before Area 51. Go look it up. Ooh, Area 51. That's After Area 51, they created a a a um a 
uh, what do you call it? A psycho, nope. It's something. And as soon as I, a psyop. Sci-fi is a psyop. Ain't no such, the, the, the only reason, the, science fiction is an oxymoron. Ain't no such mm -hmm. thing as science fiction. Wow. Science deals in fact. So does life imitate art or does art imitate art life? Art imitate life. Teach somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's art right. Art imitates life. Art is the part of the party here on life. Absolutely. So yeah, um, Hydra is the deep science division art. led by somebody. Um, just to show the receipts on that. But let me show some real receipts. Damn. So this is a part of FOIA. FOIA is an acronym for Freedom of Information Act. Um, and this was issued after the death of Nikolai Tesla. And it reads, redacted information, dear redacted person. Your letter of December 6th has been received. In response to your inquiry, the effects of Dr. Nikolai Tesla were impounded after his death by the Office of Alien Property. Ooh. Mm. That's coming from J. Edgar Hoover. I didn't know America had a Department of Alien Property. <laughs> I didn't know good. that. We'll that's, a, that's the men in black, right? We find out a lot of things that they... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lies. these are the men in black. But you know who's the number one men in, man in black? Donald Trump's uncle, his daddy's brother. Ah, wow. Tap in. Who's that? John, John George Trump was an American electrical engineer, inventor, and physicist. A professor at the Massachusetts Institution of Technology, MIT, from 1936 to 73, he was a recipient of the National Medal of Science and a member of the National Academy of Engineering. Trump was noted for developing rotational radiation therapy target uh, together with somebody. He developed one of the first million volt X-ray generators. Um, next, uh, a second paragraph. Here's your smoking gun. This is on Wikipedia, folks. In early 1943, this is World War II, two days after the death of Nikolai Tesla, the FBI ordered the Office of Alien Property custodian. He is the he's the head of the he's the head of MIB. Mm. He is the head. He's the head. <laughs> Donald Trump's uncle is the head of the Men in Black Department. Wow. Yo. That's the guy that says we're not launching an intergalactical kegger. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You can tell he's the head. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yo. laughs> Did you see on Men in Black how they were exposing uh, certain celebrities as being aliens? Mm -hmm. They showed Michael Jackson. Yeah. Remember? I was like, uh, this is yep. crazy because. Well, they got the AI now. They, they, they're just letting you know. Yeah. They call them stars. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. There goes Priest. Let's go. Okay. Trump was called in to analyze the Tesla artifacts, which were being held in government custody. After a three-day investigation, Trump's re report concluded that there was nothing which could be which could which which could constitute a hazard in unfriendly hands. That was a false report. Donald Trump said in an interview on Fox News with Tucker Carlson that his uncle told him they had a nuclear weapon that could fit inside of a suitcase and remotely. This is back then before. Well, they had Wi-Fi, but it was it was under lock and key. They said they could do this stuff remotely. No, mm. no big missile, a suitcase. That's it. Donald Trump said that ex former president, whatever. Uh, none, nonetheless, this is the part that the family, you know, I, I, I put it last because go. we all knew it was coming. Yeah. Lightsaber. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. The lightsaber. Um, and, you know, the brothers and sisters out here, shout out to red pill, blue pill, uh, no, the ledge. A, a lot of the family is, uh, wearing crystals. The lightsabers were powered by crystals. This is crystal technology. 
This crystal technology. Y'all, y'all want people out here wearing crystals, wrapped in copper. Well, there you have it. That's your, that's your, according to George Lucas, that's your crypto, your, your crystal wrapped in copper. And that's what's going to happen in his imagination. Mm. I digress. In fact, in an article entitled The African Origin of Jedi Order, it states, most people think the Jedi Order of Star Wars was a fictional order created by George Lucas from his fertile imagination. Actually, Lucas based it on the Did Jedi, just like Did Django. It's coming from the same uh, tongue. An ancient order of Egyptian priests and priestesses uh, and priestess warriors who wore hooded robes, carried a staff of power, and guarded the pharaoh. The secret techniques and knowledge of the force taught to the taught to these Egyptian Jedi were passed. Uh, I think it's called uh, Jedi, actually. Jedi were passed down from Atlantis by Tahuti, sometimes spelled Jehudi with a D, just like Django, same tongue, same mother tongue. Um, A.K.A. Thoth, Hermes, Trismegistus, Mercury, whatever you want to call him. Mm. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, this, this Jedi information, thank you, was passed from Tahuti, who was the first priest king of Atlantis who sailed to colonies in Egypt, Peru, and elsewhere before the sinking of Atlantis in order to preserve the accumulated knowledge and wisdom of Atlantis, the island. Mm. But in order to ensure that it would not be misused again, it was kept secret and only revealed to select initiates. Wow. The neophytes. But here's another one that you may not have known about the Jedi is their Masonic connection. So the elite Jedi bear similarities to the medieval monastic military order of the Knights Templar who would eventually birth the Masons. The Templars. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. I guess I have it. It's all good. Much respect. The Templars, writes Terence somebody in Star Wars and History, were esteemed above other knights for their austerity, devotion, and moral purity. Like the Jedi, the Templars practiced individual poverty within a military monastic order that commanded great material resources. A 12-member council of elders headed by a grand master... Mm. Just like in the Masons, mm. the past Grand Master, governed by both Jedi and the Templars. Mm. And Jedi clothing even <laughs> resembled the hooded white robes worn by the Christian warrior monks who took vows of property, poverty, excuse me, chastity, and obedience. Damn. Whistle blowing. <laughs> um I wanted to ask the panel and, of course, the listening audience, did anybody know that officially, I didn't type this, this is official tissue, did anybody know that officially Yoda is the, uh, you know, the Masonic Lodge of the Jedi, he's the Grand Master, officially? Hmm. I think I know something like that. I feel like I've heard something around that, that line. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean, it's the, the wisest. He's the if you think right. about, it, he's the wisest one. Well, right. he's, he's part. He's part of the council. We've seen that room That's where they have that council. Grand Master mm -hmm. Yoda. Which, you know what I mean? I, I see he's definitely part of the panel that they have there because they have like a room, was it like nine people? Yep. And they're one each represents, uh, I guess, different factions of the Federation mm. or, or of, of the Republic. And uh, yeah, I don't know how much power he has within there. I'm sure he's probably high, high order. Episode. That was like episode two, right? One. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I feel like yeah, like high. that's similar to the Elohim. I like to like he's, imagine he's that. the Master Yoda. Yeah. Oh, they did call him Master. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's definitely high level. Yeah. Now, uh, Tara said, and I quote, "The Grand Master. She she called him. She mm. said the Grand Master is to take a Padawan. This is a rare honor." Mm. Mm. So according to fandom.com, Grand Master or Grand Master One Word, also known as Grand Jedi Master, was a title generally bestowed on the oldest and wisest Jedi, 
whereas the master of the order served as leader of the Jedi High Council. The Grand Master was the head of the Jedi Order. The title was shared with the Jedi Master, somebody, somebody else, and some and Yoda during the High Republic era, as AD was referring to. Yoda continued to serve as the Grand Master in the final years of the Galactic Republic and was one of the few survivors of the Great Jedi Purge that commenced near the end of the Clone Wars. Now, the Great Jedi Purge is how I will end my uh, presentation. Mm. So much like the Great Jedi Purge ordered by Chancellor Palpatine, and this this is no different than the um uh the thing with the uh back when old boy was a Chancellor Hitler, he orders the um uh, execution of the Holocaust of the Jews. Um, much like the Great Jedi Purge ordered by Chancellor Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith, Francis King Philip the Fourth annihilated the Knights Templar after arresting hundreds of them on what day? Friday the 13th, mm. October 13th. Why is Friday the 13th even a thing? Because of the Masons who first got executed, just like the Jedi Purge, there was the Masonic Purge, or at this time, the Knights Templar Purge, and subsequently torturing and executing them for heresy. The king went around killing all of them, just like with the um, the great Jedi purge that Yoda was able to get away from. Mm, oper oper is... Operation 66. Woo! Teach Execute. They're using Operation. so much numerology. They even called the Siths, which sounds like a six. Correct. Yeah. Sif, Sif, Sif. Mm. I'm just joking. Mm. Mm. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. So that's basically the, uh, Six the billion real dollar history. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yoda. Wow. Real history, reality, history. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your wisdom. You, uh, you opened up my third eye even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the jet eye. Yes. Yo. Right. <laughs> jet eye, yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Salute. And Han Solo was always usually like an it's independent spirit. He's he was always solo. Han, Han Solo. Han. Solo. Some mm -hmm. that word, Hans. Mm -hmm. Solo. Yeah. Fast and Furious has a guy named Han. That's, That's a crazy. very, very common Dutch name, Hans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. This mm -hmm. is crazy, yo. Man, yeah, the, oh man, that's that you went in. <laughs> you went in. <laughs> Yeah, we got some questions and uh, we got some super chats, right? Uh, I don't know, but hit the super chat now. Let me double check. I don't remember seeing. Yeah, any. make sure y'all hit some super super chats now because we got Crumb right there. Yeah. Crumb, you're good with the presentations, man. Very organized. Yeah. You like you Expert. go right. Yes. You go right to the point. Uh, really well done with your presentations. Yeah. Thank applause, you, thank you. applause, standing ovation for you, oh. brother. Yeah. Check the description. He do, he do this. He do this. He, uh, do this. He, yeah. sees, he sees his fourth dimension. You know what I mean? This is it's a fourth dimension. He sees the uh the archives. Um, you know, movies movies you gotta see 4D, you know? Yeah, yeah. Look. I mean, we got cover boy officials saying, Chrome, why you nah, be twirling your nah, hair? Nah, nah, but that, really that, yeah, he's that being silly. Uh we've got fella B saying Disney World holds the true flat map to the outer world of Epcot. Ooh, yeah. teach! Is that is that, <laughs> that on point? That's fella B. Yeah, that's all wise writing exact. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting to see the correlations they put out there, mm. uh, especially with Marvel, because Marvel just didn't care. They were just like, boom, these are straight up Nazis right here. It's like, oh shit. And then you have the word L on the behind behind Marvel. It's the Marv of L. Oh, you know, L is the yeah. It's yep. the L is the uh, Canaanite god, Canaanite deity. Yeah, that's right. Mm. I mean, Star Wars was like a a, a soap opera in space. Mm. You know what I mean? Because there's like problems with the family and the father and like betrayal. Said, it's a soap opera. It's a telenovela. Right. And you said something about Princess <laughs> Diane, right? Princess uh, Leia. Oh, Princess Leia, right? 
Oh, I slept. With her, with her, with her space <laughs> buns. She got the space buns. Right. Going on. I slept. That one. That's an yeah. actual fashion. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like, yo, give me the space buns. Yeah, she had the two, the two, um, the cinnamon I, rolls on the sides. Cinnamon. <laughs> like, I call them donuts. Like, like yeah. Yeah. It's almost I used like to rams. wear my hair like that. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Like Princess wow. Leia. I was following. Wow, she's star of Star Wars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, princess. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah. we know what that's about, yo. This is crazy. I heard she was wild. Man, that yo, that that opened our minds up to. Just, you got to look at those movies. They like they like um books. You know the new books, the new books. Come on, shout out. It could be seen as got- our real life too, like with the mm-hmm. rebellion, the empire. Where the empire would be like the government and stuff like that, and then the rebellion trying to have less government. Yeah. The rebels trying to save the republic. Mm-hmm. You know, republic. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you think we're re on it? They did it over. Okay. A lot of similarities. You know. Yeah. So this True. is. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, you went in. You went in on this one. This was great. For real, this is great, right. man. You, oh man, I guess you're gonna uh, stick around. We're gonna move to the. Um, could we build well, I mean, of course, why not? We, at 6.51, I, the one thing I pointed out to Priest was when you posted on Instagram about the Smurfs because Priest is a huge fan of the Smurfs. And he speaks a lot on the correlations with life, the mushroom correlation. But you always really go deep well with, with all pop culture. Mm-hmm. If you want to talk on, on your Smurfs real quick. I broke. He yeah, did already? We, did. Yeah. we went through so many, well, the hat. The hats that the uh, Smurfs wore. We we went through Aziel and mm-hmm. I mean, well, Gargamel and um, mm-hmm. the L's and stuff like that. So we went through that. But you break. What's your What's your take on the on the Smurfs? Yeah. Well, um, we just had a incident that you were uh, alluding to earlier in Las Vegas, Nevada, where there was a crash behind some people's houses. Yeah. And for me, it was really. Um, jarring because a lot of that footage was redacted mm. and you know blurred out and they uh, i think there's even like a cgi ai thing out right now of what they thought was back there whatever the case may be but yeah. um it it really opened our eyes to say there's more out there than what we think or what we've been told that's and, right um we always talk about the the basics being like the reptilians Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm with you, family. R- reptilians. Absolutely. Yes. Sure. No problem. Um, however, comma, there are other races of aliens. As it is above, it is below. So, you know, you, you, you're going to have your 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 reptilians. Sure. No problem. But you're also going to have your grays. You're also going to have your dragon, your uh, draconians. You're going to have a um, a slew of different. Uh, aliens and one of the alien uh, races that you're going to come across is one that I did about the Smurfs and a lot of people took to it. I wanted to see if I could share screen and play it for you if possible. But they have the dwarfs and uh, mm-hmm. yes, they, they they told stories in Ireland and uh, about the uh, the cats who found the pot of gold. What's the name? Um, Leprechauns. Leprechauns, yeah, mm-hmm. leprechauns. You got the leprechauns in there. And that was some. That was something too. I think you want to share a screen, AD, when you finish. Bird. As above, so below. Yeah. Shout out to everybody coming through. Man, you dropped it. You dropped it. Um. Uh, on this one. You said I'm good. Yep. Yeah. See you right okay. The Lalians, keepers of the night, hailing from the planet Lael. The Lalian people are an advanced race that thrive under the cover of darkness. With an average height ranging from 2 to 4 feet and a weight of up to 120 pounds, they have become known as the trolls and smurfs in Earth's cartoons. The Lalians embody peace and possess enchanting fairy-like qualities. Their ancient origins remain shrouded in mystery, known only to a select few. Their distinct appearance features skin tones ranging from faint gray, brown, blue, red, yellow, to green, complemented by hair resembling branches and leaves. Adorned in primitive yet vibrant clothing that combines shades of white, gray-blue, violet, 
and scarlet. The Lalians often present themselves with unassuming humility, concealing their true capabilities. Their advanced physiology and profound connection with nature grant them an extended lifespan. Endowed with exceptional intelligence and perception, Lalians possess near-perfect memories and lightning-fast arithmetic skills. Their heightened senses allow them to notice intricate details and subtleties, bordering on extrasensory perception. Crumb TV. Hey. hey. In a nutshell, that, right? Man? No, no pun intended. I <laughs> <laughs> was in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, cool. so there's a race called the Lalians, um, and this is where, you know, once we study these different uh, races, we're going to see how diverse the uh, the melting pot of the universe is. No pun intended. Uh, you know universe but nonetheless if you go and look at um uh what movie is that underworld has anybody seen the movie underworld why does it sound familiar mm. right but it sounds familiar already underworld i heard about it i haven't seen it i gotta, I gotta step my movie up <laughs> my movie game up Word. nah i can tell you you've just seen a lot of media i already know i already know Crimson i was gonna lot. say we, we watching smurfs we yeah. watching <laughs> underworld that. we watching that's star we, wars yeah, yeah, yeah. See, i can tell you have seen a lot man right i'm kind of like the cable guy but hopefully not that bad. <laughs> right. that's but dope though yeah, so in the movie the underworld um you have the lichens they're a bunch of werewolves hmm. But if you look at the, the the lichens, the reason in the movie they even called them lichens is because there's a there's a star system in uh, somewhere around the corner of the Milky Way called the Lyra star system. And this is where the Lyrans come from. This is where you get the idea of lichens from um, the movie uh, Underworld. So when we're oh, dealing with, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I see what you're talking about, yeah. So when we're dealing with these, um, monsters or even sometimes these gods they're really just ancient aliens so to speak um so you have your your lyrans or your lichens which you may call werewolves you have your draconians which you may call uh vampires you have your um your lyrans which you may call smurfs you know so on and so forth there's a lot of different uh races, ethnicities, so on and so forth out there in the star systems. However, um, a lot of those people out there, like the Anunnaki, they look like you and I. Remember, go back to the book of Genesis. Um, what was, What is the image that we have been made in? Hmm? We, you know, we, we were made in the image of the Father. So hmm. when we look at these aliens, just like they saw in Las Vegas, they saw mm -hmm. some eight to ten foot Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they, that's why it was redacted, and mm -hmm. they couldn't show you. Oh my God! Aliens look like uh, 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 Kareem Abdul uh, 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 Jabbar, or whatever his name is. Right. You know these these, these tall, dark skinned dudes with afros, nine ether hair. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, Noel mm -hmm. Cinder. Mm-hmm. Curl. Yep. Spiral nine ether. Mm. Shaped like a nine. So dealing with the Smurfs and all these other uh, mythological creatures from lore, uh, I would propose very possibly that these are actually um, reimaginations of aliens, no different than what Disney brought you with uh, the Brothers Grimm, where it was a lot of reimaginations of, you know, their right. history. Right. Yep, their past. Thank you. Right. Man, this has been heavy. Uh oh you know, yeah. Thank you, Wee Baker. Baker. <clears throat> nah, that's crazy, yo. I have another clip in here. <laughs> yo, yo, this from you, is... from you be watching anime? I love it. Yeah, um, what was the very first most famous anime ever to come out? The most famous? Hey. The very first one. The very first one, ooh, I, yeah, I wouldn't know that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was called, it was called Kimba. Kimba. Mm. Who stole that movie? What did they name it? Kimba. Ooh. Kimba was the first big anime that was stolen by Disney and called Lion King, and the wow. main character name was Simba. Ah. Uh. Oh. Wow. Come on. Wow. Let's go. Let's go, Walt. I ain't playing. 
<laughs> right. All right, Uh-oh. the Disney family. You know what I mean? The Disney crime family. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Yo, Disney's, man. man. You know they probably was walking around going, hey, what's up, you a Disney? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, you can come right in, sir. Nah, you got to watch uh, South Park. South Park. The way South Park be doing Disney be having me weak. Yeah. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, the way a South Park be doing Disney, like like Mickey Mouse is like the he's like the boss of the whole like the whole thing, like he runs the whole Disney thing. Yeah, and he answers to uh, Walt, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you don't see no Disney family. You ever saw somebody with last name Disney around? <laughs> they keep yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Yeah. You know Disney, um, because he he brought us animation. Um, there is a conspiracy theory. You know, take with a grain of salt that he has been suspended in animation. Mm. Um, he's he's been cryogenically frozen, and and they said they alluded to that in the movie Frozen or whatever the case may be. Right. But um, but yeah. So this, yeah, those those that, names like the Kellogg's. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah, mm. man. They have, they have a whole bunch of crazy history with them. And yo. Yeah, the Kellogg's. Disney's, these names that being around, definitely, there's a family. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy, man. Yo. It's another one, yeah. too. Yeah, your boy Kellogg was wild. Yeah, right? <laughs> I talk yeah. Like, yeah. He Kellogg. said, um, uh, circumcising boys would stop the spread of venereal de- uh, a disease. It would stop homosexuality. Um, it, it was it was it was a lot of crazy pseudoscience that he really? was pushing wow. back there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> they invented Hollywood. They got together and they yeah. invented they invented that and they invented this whole thing. It's like all stage play, like you said, stage yep. play, stars and Kellogg and actors. Kellogg was a religious dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he was trying right. to make people um <clears throat> be more celebratory. When they say right. kill logs. So, to lower their testosterone, lower their libido, he wanted to sway people away from having eggs and bacon. You know what I mean? So he had Kellogg's cornflakes. It's just, it's just, you know, glucose. It's just corn put up, you put it in with some milk, and you're going to have no libido after that because there's no cholesterol. There's nothing to really, like, drive you. So... It just keeps you calm and chill and docile. You're just not in a horny mood. You're not, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. If you give a man yeah. eggs and, and, and bacon and, and, and butter and steak and stuff like that, then they're going to be ready to reproduce mm-hmm. because they have all the uh, testosterone building blocks and everything. So they knew all that. Oh, wow. So Real now sweet. you have all these cereals that just keep them, you know, keep them nice and chill. Oh, and so. and it's, it's easier to be celibate that way. Serial killers. Ooh. Ooh. Man. Yeah, man. Oh, that one in the clip. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yo, so the reason yo. why they say that. Scratch the cereal. I remember that. Number. No cornflakes. Yeah. No cornflakes. So, so no steak, corn. steak and, and eggs. Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. Yeah. And everybody yeah, had like a cereal that. number. <laughs> At least for dudes. Yeah, I mean, I love yeah, steak and eggs. You know I mean, that's dudes. the one. Our cereal. That's my breakfast choice. And fruit, though. It was. You better have some fruit too. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Don't leave out the fruit. That's God's candy. Uh huh. Honey. Mm-hmm. Well, I love fruit. Yeah, just, mm-hmm. they said that's the that's the best one of the best. Mm-hmm. If we get real fruit though, wild blueberries. That's yeah. my shit. You gotta get everything wild now because you don't never know if you're eating a real apple. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then they have right. seedless grapes. How do you have seedless grapes? Yeah. Yeah. Seedless watermelon. Like oh yes. <sighs> no. Seedless and they put it like it's a good thing. Well, how do right. you grow yeah. it? Like, no. And that's at Whole Foods too. It's like, yeah. come on, where's the real watermelons at? They make you gotta go to farmers plant. markets. <clears throat> it's all exactly. a plan. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. The plan. Yep, like the plandemic. Yep, mm-hmm. like the plan. It they planned all of this. Plantation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. It's all a plan. It's part of somebody's big idea to put this thing together. What's the what's the um the guy name who who's uh poisoning all the food and turning around Santos? Uh, oh, uh, Monsanto. Monsanto. Yeah, Monsanto. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The big corporation is cool. Yeah, genetically modified uh, corn and stuff. And they said you got to be cool now. Look, cool, cool cigarettes. Yeah. 
Ooh, cigarettes? Yeah. Man. That's when I came in. In the 50s, cigarettes. yeah, they had doctors mm-hmm. smoking cigarettes on commercials. General surgeon. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah right, right. The general surgeon. And then food and drugs is the same thing. It's called FDA, uh, Food and Drug Administration. Right. So food mm-hmm. and drugs is the same thing. They like, let's know. Yeah. Big levels. Let we ready food. to go in with you. We ready to go in with you, uh, Crumb. Let's go 50-50 on this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when you whistle blowing, we got whistles. You know what I mean? You, 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 um, you drop it. You always dropping it. Always. And the reason why I, lo- I, I love when you build because when you drop it, you show the source and you show it, it is things that make you think. We don't think enough. Mm. Nah, we don't. Critical <laughs> thinking. Critical. Th- we don't do that. No, they, they X that out. Yeah. That out. Critical thinking. Don't don't talk. It'll break you up. That's why I like breaking the fourth wall. You gotta break the fourth wall sometimes, you know? Because there's something always underlying in each thing. That's why I always love conspiracy theories with like cartoons and all that. Mm-hmm. That's always been my biggest thing too. Start there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cartoons easy as one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Start there. Because the animators have so much control. Yeah. yeah. You See? know? Start Look at all the kids. stuff that Disney's done with their animators. Right. There's a uh, I think Crumb was the one that posted it. But there was a correlation between two different Disney cartoons where it was the same character, just two different, you know, versions. That was you, right? Yes, sir. that's right. He posted, a, it was a duplicate. Like, the movements were exact. All of the animation movement and the way the kid would be getting hit by two different animals mm-hmm. was in sync perfectly. So those mm-hmm. animators just copied and pasted. Yeah. Uh, I think it was, it was Jungle Book correlated with some other Disney. Yeah, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Lord, uh, Sword in the Stone, all of them. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Where so the wild doing... things are, Cr- Dr- yep. McGruff sleeping under the bridge. They got they had the ram and all of that under the bridge. Yeah, they narrowed it down eat to just children. Lazy animators. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man. they eat children. Mm. Like what? You know what I mean? Dude, that goes into a whole other subject. Yes, too. it does. Mm. Yes, it does. It goes into the animals that that was on the walls. They, they do all of that. They do all of that. Man. And, and Corrupt a, our uh, minds. Adrena, yeah. Adrenochrome. Mm. Adrenochrome. Let's go. That's, that's a scary topic. topic. <laughs> that's a, adrenochrome. That's man. Is that a, is a adrenal gland? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that, that can go into, uh, what's that Disney movie where they scare the kids? Mm-hmm. Monsters, Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. Yeah, I think we, mm. I feel like we touched on that before. Yeah, well, look, sure. w, I love what uh, W.S. Uh, Baker says, Peanuts. Now, there's a group of kids, but they, peanuts is not the, the best nut to eat, right? right? Right, But they call themselves peanuts. It's back to food. Mm. Mm. I, think, um, I think broccoli, I think most of the Dragon Ball Z is uh, based on vegetables and carrots. Yeah, 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 you posted yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, you talked yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all the characters' names, all the Saiyan's names are all vegetables. Yeah. Mm. You break it down. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> you Dude, the- have you noticed Family Guy? Like if you look at oh yeah Peter's chin, it looks like a couple of balls. <laughs> Nuts, man. Nuts. Say it. Yeah. Or if you look at Lois, what does Lois look like? like? Hell, that alls. <laughs> Lois looked like a a penis. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. way they shaped her, it's like, come on. That's crazy. What are they yeah. doing here? The father yeah. become more stupid. The Disney effect. All the fathers, Homer, you know, mm-hmm. and then and they become more dumb and dumb and dumber and dumb. You know what I mean? Yeah. And dumber then and just dumber. Killing the father. Yeah, killing yeah. the the, um, the masculinity. Making it toxic, and um, and all the movies, and making the father, uh, more stupid. Yeah, that's every. I mean, Sweet that's every. Randy. Every cartoon is like that, though. <laughs> they do a lot of cartoon. Cartoon fathers get, get done bad. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? If you really notice, it's not ever. It's never masculine. You know what I mean? They always have like a. They always got like a silly way about them. They're not smart enough. They can't process things. You know what I mean? They they they. You know, what I mean, there's no, there's no control over the household in general. You know, what I mean, if you have noticed it, you know? I feel like they got the idea from Married with Children. Remember Married with Children? That's where it starts at, <laughs> right? Yeah, it starts. Mm. Well, black, you know, black. What was that? Honeymooners. Mm. Um, oh yeah, to the Ralph, moon, Alice. To yeah, the moon. yeah, to the, oh, to the yeah. moon. But he was always making stupid decisions. He was just loud because Jackie Gleason was, was like one of the top comedians back then. Look how successful I Love Lucy was. And he was a bus driver. Yeah. I, Lucy. Lucy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she was she was a Leo. Lucy was a Leo? Of course she was, because she took all the all the shine. She was the shining star. She mm-hmm. was the sun. Also she Lucy is the uh, oldest well, they said yeah, right. 
But it was oh, this uh, found creature, right? Lucy. Interesting mm. dynamic with her and Ricky. You know mm. what I mean? Ricky was like, what? Ricky are you doing? Ricardo. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Marcus asked me what happened to Hootie. Nothing happened to Hootie. Chilling. He'll be back soon. Yeah, we're looking for him. Got AP. So, um, not, nothing happened to Hootie, though. But he's doing his channel on uh, Saturdays. Or, mm. Yeah. Yeah, man. So what's up with Simpsons predicting everything? Well, that's how they do it, man. They they already know because it's all one, one the, big show. Is one of their writers a time traveler? Because he's getting eerily accurate. How do you feel about the don't. Simpsons and them having the home or the city and the globe? And how um, they talk about that, how the, oh, rain, the, how the rainbow, that the, the, the dome? The, yes, the dome. The snow, uh, right. the snow globe. Right, that's a conspiracy that they're talking about right now. Yeah. Mm. Especially with the rainbow and when it rains because of glass. Right, right. Yeah. The snow globe. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's and to replace the, the crystal. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's and crazy. the crystal ball. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Crystal mm -hmm. ball, they used to Man. cloud up, and they just say, oh, let's make the snow like, globe. Like, there's no space, because they're just going, ding. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know? Wow. Right. Tru Truman Show. Right. Truman Show. And if you know, the, um, the Simpsons and Futurama is connected. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. Futurama, that's supposed to be in the same world. Yeah. Right. Wow. yeah. Same universe. Mm -hmm. So it's Flintstones and the Jetsons. Mm -hmm. one's, one's in the prehistoric mm -hmm. and the other's the future. Right. Oh, yeah. They're the same cartoon, but they're showing you prehistoric and the other one's showing you the future. Mm -hmm. They still got that nose. Jane, his wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wilmer. That's Wilmer. I know it's Betsy. You look at them, they're the same, same character. They made uh, Fred Flintstone skinny. He's fat and he's from the past. Mm -hmm. But then you look at him in the future, he's, he's skinny, he's more slim, but they're in the rocket ship. But how interesting that they all live in sky cities because they polluted yeah. the earth so much they have to live in the sky now. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Where it happened to the Earth itself? Why is wow. every single like place to go to on a giant pole Flintstone. above the clouds because they're living above the people? We don't sure. know what's really down there. Right. That's Matrix. They could be it's living crazy. like the Flintstones on the bottom, but the Jetsons are on top. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, to the stage right now, we got yeah. Knowledge Born in the building. Peace hey. to the God, Knowledge Born. Peace, brother. Microphone. Microphone. His wife. Dun, 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 yeah, and then dun. she takes his whole wallet. Yeah. Boom, 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 My check, you know And he put yeah, himself we... in that dome, right? Yeah. And yeah, we hear you. Okay, okay. Peace. I see y'all got the master student in here. <laughs> Pumming it up. Okay. No doubt. We, we got the beautiful queens in here. The, the, the eternal earths in here. Rocking and an illuminating. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Brother, meet uh, my sister yeah. on my right, Don Lopez. Meet brother, knowledge. Please, please, please. Okay. We, we got hand <laughs> solo, solo gems in the building. Hand solo. Oh, man. <laughs> hand solo to the so full power. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's ill. Hey, hand solo. We got, yeah, the, so. we got the torch bearer of immortal life in the building. The, the, the iron soul. Hey, with the priest. flaming sword no that turned in all directions. My man! He built the gate, hey. the vanguard of hip hop. No doubt. Oh, I like that. Vanguard. The vanguard of vanguard. hip hop. It won't no stop. No father to his style, no father to his sound. Happy Woo Wednesday, Wednesday, everybody. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. You know, my Woo talking about. That what you say? Oh. I was trying to wake. I said, y'all know my Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. You understand? Uh, <laughs> I was trying to wait, but I wanted to catch Crumb because you know, Crumb got that vanishing cream. You know what I'm saying? He he just vanishes with the vanishing cream. He dropped the jewels and be like, yo, I gotta run. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> mm. He blessing us with the jewels. Yeah. All right. Today's June 14th, and it's Donald Trump's birthday, and it's Flag Day. Mm. I, I wanted I wanted some semblance from Crumb before he before he bounced on us. Um which I was talking about with the Flintstones, the Flintstones and the honeymooners was the same show. So the Flintstones and the Honeymooners was the same show. They had a deep Masonic connection in both of those shows. Two. 
You see, they, they went to the lodge, both of them. Fred Flintstone and Barney was in the lodge. And so oh, was that's Ed right. Norton Ooh, and Ooh, Ralph Cramer. Mm. So the occult symbolism that they used on TV was very, very, very slick. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But it was right there apparent because, you know, they can't say they lied. Like, look, we told y'all the truth. Y'all, If y'all didn't catch it, we put it out there. You know, that's the meaning of a cult. It's hidden in plain sight. You know, mm. it's a culture that's being played out right there in plain sight. Mm. So there was a couple of minds that was responsible for most of the TV shows and cartoons that we saw. And then, you know, on the other end of it, they had disciples and their disciples came with the Married with Children shows and all of those shows that we watched in the 90s. They were they were overwatched. But they were mm. led by their disciples. If you looked at the Cosby Show, if you looked at a different world, if you looked at Married with Children, if you looked at Roseanne, mm. if you look at all of those shows, it's a couple of names that are there. Wow. Marcy, you know, uh, you know, Marcy and, and, and Adam Weiner or Werner, whatever the names were, they mm. were in all the shows in the background. You see what I'm all saying? Right. They're disciples of a few of those minds that were on TV. Uh, before that gave us Sanford and Son, that gave mm. us good times, that gave us mm. different give me a strokes, break, different strokes. All of those mm. shows, they gave all of those shows, and used this predictive analytics to show what was going to happen in the future. So it looks like they're prophetic. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So they look like the 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 Nostradamus, the All Seeing Eye, as if they predicted it. But if you're in control of how it happens, like y'all are saying. <laughs> you just roll it out from one slide to the next. This is why some of our great minds were revered because they gave us a lot of the information very early and signs to look for. So you know, we're here with them, but we won't look at our great minds with any esteem. You see what I'm saying? So I don't have to worry about what was what's going to happen in 2050 because Steve Coakley told us in 95 what was going to happen in 2050. Wow. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Wow. Like when he when when he showed us what was written in Patriot Act One and Two, mm -hmm. what was actually written in those acts, <laughs> you surprised at what's happening in the world right now. All of that shit was written what's in happened? the bill. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all that shit was written in the bill that they had you patriotic about. Like, yeah, go get them. They knocked down the towers. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you look at what twenty two years mm -hmm. later. If it was a lie and all of it was fake, they came out with all of the documentaries and all of the information. Why are we still going through the shit we're going through at the airport? <laughs> you understand right. what I'm saying? Like, right. why, and, and when they have all of this stuff that's going on in the airport, but that was that's a small thing. That's a microcosm, a microcosm to a macrocosm. All of the shots and everything that was happening, all of that shit was in the same bill. Mm. All of it. The jabs that we're talking about and all that. Right. It's in the same bill. <laughs> you see what I'm mm. saying? It's in the same bill. Like wow. nobody looked at it. And then when they when they were interviewing people, like Solo, you was talking about conspiracy theories. When the people was breaking down the information, that's what they named you. Mm. But this is what they call Steve Kofi Senior too. You see what I'm saying? They call mm -hmm. it a conspiracy theory. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So when I when our ancients, when our elders, when our people, mm. when our loved ones are teaching, we're supposed to be there getting that game. Because when they come with the people, they're going to hit you with the switch up, the three five mile. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like they're going to run off with your with your wallet and all your bread. You see, mm -hmm. and make it look like you winning. Yep. So I mean, it's it's a switch of move. Did you watch the Jeffersons? Definitely. Moving on. That was up. one of the most hilarious shows I've ever seen, man. You know where the Jeffersons came from? Uh. -uh. <laughs> all in the family. Wow, really? Yeah, he's right. You know That's where good true. times came from? But good times was like, hey, hi, hi. Ma, you yeah, see what I'm saying? Ma. Like, they're all there. Mm -hmm. They're Remember all that? there. But there's spinoffs, so you, but you got to really yeah. go and look at mm -hmm. the main thing. But he talk about spinoff. They they all come from something. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I yeah. remember there was a show. Happy days came from something else too. My my back. No, but just, um. In good times, they were like, one of them was like, oh, you got, uh, I got an eating problem. The other one was like, uh, yeah, you can't wait to eat. That yeah. shit was hilarious at my age. Yeah. I couldn't stop laughing. But, 
But look at the turmoil that they were showing in the household. It told you that they had declared war on household in the household, mm-hmm. reflective of the the not culture, the not people. So you looked at that, and then you started looking at your siblings with hate in your heart. So you made the scriptures true again. So if you got a, a Cain, you got an Abel. If you got a big brother a, looking at his little brother with hatred in his heart, he got enough to kill him. You see what I'm saying? This is why you got to intervene. This is why you got to intervene because they're already saying that they're going to put enmity between the two. So you already in an environment that's optimal for these kind of things to happen and to take place. You see what I'm saying? What Dirty said? He said they're going to try to get us to, to go against each other. Dirty said it plainly. How they yes. make Dirty look? Made him look crazy. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because they make wow. you always make you look crazy, assassinate your character before they take you out. This is old. Okay. Mm. <laughs> when you want to no destabilize a, a region, you cause a rift between the government and structure and its people. Read econ- you know, confessions of economic hitmen. Mm. Teach. These things happen in, in plain sight. You see what I'm saying? So I, I, I love when crumb come in and, and break it up because there's a thing you on break the up the crumbs. <laughs> right. break, it down. break it down and to his they, crumbs. They got an event horizon happening right now in front of our yeah. face. Mm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> event horizon happening right in front of our face. We went from looking at the movies because that's a scary movie. Writing. We're writing. They were writing, but we, we're not reading anymore. So they still had to find a way through whoever has the attention of the people to bring it to them. So they'd be like, well, how they bring it up? They don't have no control over them. You can start something with wicked intentions, but God always wins. You see what I'm saying? God mm-hmm. always wins and make it real. So you're going to see something in there that illuminates your God mind. You're like, yo, why you be watching this? Why you be watching? This? So this is why I don't get into you know the religious text because the religious text they're for a certain people. It's a, mm-hmm. You got the music. You got the movies that are for everybody. So speak on when, it. When you're ready for that, it gets there. And this is, I was just talking about this earlier. Like music is so important because it's associated with your memory. Mm. So they attack your family and they attack the heartbeat of your family, which is your cultural traditions and your music. That's your language. Look mm. at your language. You see what I'm saying? Like you could be asleep and the music can penetrate your subconscious or your unconscious. So now what are you listening to? You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? And, and at what frequency? Y'all know how y'all do. So this music can heal you or it can kill you. Mm-hmm. They got a bunch of useless eaters that they're supposed to get off of the planet. They got mandates. They, mm-hmm. This stuff is out here. It's, it's written. It's manifestos. These, these are how things become true because we make them true. You see what I'm saying? So. Yeah. We were just speaking on that Mm -hmm. coming over here. Sis and I, we were talking about that, the Mm -hmm. whole religion, the rely on, religion, you rely on. Weren't we talking about that, Sis? Now here you are manifesting it. I was raised on the religion I relied on. It got caught up in superstition. Uh, (laughs) uh, Yep, because if I may say and i don't mean any disrespect to anyone's faith religion but when i drive around and i look and i see churches they're nine out of ten churches they're on street corners it's almost as if they're pimping religion Mm. Mm. get out there and make that yes if you look at churches they're on street corners (laughs) they're pimping emmanuel Jesus Christ, Jehovah, There's Elohim. Mine. Don't pimp him. Where's my bitches? <laughs> <laughs> but <on>. yes. <laughs> it's a sales force. It's a sales force. It's a sales force. It's a sales force and it's an auction block. You know, oh. they, it's, it's out there. They have to be out there selling. You, still, you know, you're out here selling for souls, not selling your soul. You're selling right. for souls. It's it's a sales pitch. They they got altar call. You know, you come in and they shame the money out of you. Yeah, shame shame your connection to your soul. Yes, ten percent. Give ten percent of your income. Put it right here in my account. (laughs) Yes, the talented ten. 
they do it. You see what I'm saying? They do, they do it for a tenth. And uh, those cats only give you a tenth of what it's worth. Exactly. That's right. So, so we got a super chat here for you, Knowledge Born. It is from Cat Jones. He says, shout out, Knowledge Born Preach. The term conspiracy has been recently demon demonized to essentially discredit information and easily control narratives. Perfect. Cat Jones, yes. What about the universe conspiring in your favor? You see what I'm saying? Mm. You, you'll close your eyes to that. You'll close your eyes to the ways of your ancients. So this is why they showed you sibling rivalry and war in the family. Mm. Al Bundy sold shoes. How can he afford a house? Mm. He right. sold shoes since high school. Look how they just played in your face. Like, wow. Peggy did not work. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. at the beginning of the show, he's in his wallet giving everybody money. How does that happen? Mm. You're working in a mall. You're not. That's not your store. You understand? That's like I'm minimum saying? wage. Yeah. Right. And to assume that maybe he was getting a little bit more money, maybe because of his managerial position or for being there, it's like a dollar or two more. With the inflation today, that'd be impossible. From but... high school, <laughs> Archie Bunker. He, he started working there in high school, and he didn't yeah. get another job. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. this is yeah. how they'll show you. They'll show you this. We have to assume yeah. the house is paid for. <laughs> Good credit. <laughs> how? Yeah. With... Oh, oh, what? What? Ad. He worked at his shoe store. With the Simpsons money the same way. Maybe. Now look at the <laughs> look at the parents. look at the oh, inverse. He was an idiot. Look at the inverse. Ad. Yeah. The Cosby <laughs> Show. <laughs> look, okay. Ad. The Cosby Go Show. Ahead. They were living in a brownstone. Mm. Right. She was a lawyer. He was a doctor. That's how they was living in the brownstone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Look, there was nobody staying at home. In New York, Rock right? Was, Rock, mm -hmm. right. Rock was a garbage man living in Baltimore. He was working as a garbage man. Eleanor was working as a nurse on the night shift to stay in that row house that they were staying in in Baltimore. Like, look at the how they show it to you, like, literally in plain sight. On the night shift. <laughs> Fred Flintstone worked. Where did, where, where did his wife work? I don't know. She ain't work nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She didn't work nowhere. Where, where did uh, George Jetson's wife work? Nowhere. Mm. Where did Edith Bunker work? Nowhere. You understand? Nowhere, nowhere. Jetson so, still had paper money too. They didn't go to Bitcoin yet. <laughs> you would have thought that's, that's a jewel. Oh, that's right. They that's, had paper that's a jewel. money still. That is a jewel. Right, right. That's a and, jewel. Um, so, Peggy mm. from you, have, you remember uh, Jackie? Um, yeah. There was a there was a, a show called Jackie, and uh, she would yeah. walk around. And she would act just like how uh, Peggy was acting. Right. You know what I mean? It was crazy. Right. She was shop she was shopping all the time. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? She was shopping all the time. Like, like these are the things that they, they show it when nobody was paying attention to her. Like yeah. she was shopping all the time and, and eating bonbons and she was the soap opera and talk show wife type situation. Mm -hmm. Like right. this is virtually impossible, but they're showing you this. You know, they showed you that believe it to be, but you see what I'm saying? Like they, they showed you all of these archetypes in regards to the family dynamic in an impossibility space where you stay. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Not even two parent households. You know, you got a you got a crack epidemic going on. This is what you're being shown to you. You got a three strike rule happening outside of your door, but this is what you're being shown to you. So they declare war on your family and your family values. And then they give you a show called it Family Matters. <laughs> Man. Put the charges on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, Crumb TV and Knowledge Born together. Oh, man. We do a whole episodes on pop culture. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. We got them. They That's here. a great combination. We have, we have to honor. The, see, this is... This is what I'm saying. When they come, you got to honor it. You know what I'm saying? Because you mm -hmm. don't get it all the time. Right. You're not going to get it all the time. So when it, it happens, we have to acknowledge it. Too many times we wait to, to not hear, oh, yeah, I'm Dr. Sebi now. 
Right. It's like when he was here, it's like, give me that. <laughs> me eat this and that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the work lives on. But it's like, come on. They're here breaking it down, watching it it's up late night, watching it, eating the right foods to stay up. Some of us don't even need that. We just up. Yeah. I just stay up until MASH comes on. Then I know it's time for bed. I hate it. Uh, I, I couldn't that. stand MASH, man. That's, that's one thing I couldn't that. watch. That was my dad's show. My dad loved watching that's that. Funny. I'm like, oh, this is so... <laughs> yeah. I was a little rascals. A little rascals. Oh, yeah. and uh, I like They, they Night took Night MASH Rider. and turned it into Grey's Anatomy, y'all. Y'all was watching Grey's Anatomy. MASH. Mm. Um, mm. Same uh, kind of soap opera shit. You see oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, but they had General Hospital and all, you know all of those other all types. What's the porno one? Like the, oh, Three's Company. Three's Company. Oh yeah, that's my mom's favorite. That's my one of my mom's favorite. That's why I already knew it. Come and knock a door. Exactly. <laughs> then they had Mr. then they had Frally? the Ropers <laughs> spin off. Remember Ropers? the Ropers? Oh, yeah. The Ropers yeah. was the spin off. Yeah, Ropers. Oh. Because that means they had the same group of writers and they were yeah. grooming young writers to portray life as they saw it. So it's not the life that you were actually living. It's the life that they put in front of you to seek to live. You see what I'm saying? So I like Family Guy made fun of all of them. Mm-hmm. All movies. They had the, um, mm-hmm. I, think, I think they had the one of them with the Keebler Elves. When the um oh, yeah. Uh, yeah when they ran up on the Keebler house, I think it was um what was the what was the cookie the yeah. keep the Keebler house was killed by the dwarfs or something like that it I, rolled up man <laughs> it's like nah yo, they got so much references in the there trees. yeah nah they got so much references Family Guy you guys just appreciate it <laughs> Count Chocula when we put the he man. put a hit out on but they um, did do some snitching yeah y'all did. watch. Mm. I saw somebody write the Twilight Zone. I'm a Twilight Zone junkie. I, I said every you. version yeah, of the Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone, the Outer Limits, they did some snitching. They mm. did some snitching. So this is how long, uh, because since you said, you know, how were they able to put this stuff? They put this stuff out in the, in the movies, in the TV shows a long time ago because they had them in the books. Yep. You know, you go back and look in the books, they had them in the books. We were reading. You know, we had to do the knowledge. We had to go find it somewhere. You had to go sit somewhere under somebody or you had to go to the library and find it. You had to go seek it out. Mm-hmm. So they said, oh, information is at your fingertips. Like, nah, if you ain't never been taught, if you ain't never had the labor to go find nothing, you're not going to go find anything. They're like, hey, Siri, hey, such and such. Hey, they, they still ask somebody yeah. to, to give them something that we had to we had to get bruised up to go get. See what I'm saying? We had to get mm-hmm. bruised up to go get it. Somebody had to find you worthy. You know, I, I learned my culture in my house. But outside of my house, somebody had to see you not acting like a knucklehead or see past the knucklehead in you to impart some information to you, to take you somewhere, to, to do some research for you, to learn about yourself. Okay? Yeah. A lot of these things was out there. I watched the Twilight Zone with my old Earth, and we, we used to watch the Twilight Zone Marathon, and Cassie was getting sparked from that, so they took it off and replaced it with the Honeymooners movie. Yep. Yep. It's yeah, the it's tell a... lie vision. Yeah, yep, yep, exactly. Tell Telling lies to your vision. Be careful out there. Tell lie vision. Mm-hmm. Hey, t- the odd like couple yeah. means something different oh, nowadays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a man and a woman is the odd couple. Right. <laughs> you understand That's what I'm right. saying? I saw the original. Yeah. This, that that came from a movie too. It's called The Odd Couple, like mm-hmm. in the um the fifties. And I guess they made a TV show out of it. TV program. Yeah, the program was <laughs> crazy, man. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, now it's born. <laughs> now it's born. The master student comes. Should we move to the music now? Sure. Yeah. I, I had one more one more thing to drop because Crumb no was doubt. ill. Y'all, y'all was talking about Kellogg's in the cereal. Mm. Y'all remember that movie Falling? With yeah. Denzel Washington? Yeah. Fa- Come on, follow it or follow? Fall, falling. 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 Mm-hmm. The person yeah. was trapped. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, man. That was fire. Oh, For yeah. They, yeah I remember. <laughs> they was killing people. The copy, well, whoever was possessed by the spirit of Azazel, they put the cornflakes at the scene. Teach. You see what I'm saying? Like, so it, it was something that was there. It was still, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in that element, 
and you know, falling that's a whole whole nother breakdown. I think if, if Crum and I, you know, take a look at that, he'll he'll pull out some serious jewels. Yeah, uh, come and, and and teach yo, that'll be a nice breakdown. That seven deadly sins, I think. Oh, what's that one? Seven. Up? Yeah, seven, yeah. seven, seven. Yeah. Seven was ill. Yeah, that <laughs> oh, that's a perfect that's look, look at you. Oh, that's a perfect connection right there. Right. Cover boy I, I says think the holy I think the holy trinity would be usual suspects. That's the that's the third one to throw. <laughs> Cinema with a S. Sin. Mm. <laughs> sin. Yeah. Well you've had an yeah, a- the wages of sin. This is a cinema. Yeah, wages of cinema. So we we do a breakdown and call it cinema. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Word. Y'all just come in, just boom, boom. Wages of sin is death. Well, I got a series called Sentimental. Mmm. Mmm. You know, my, That's my series for the movies is cin- Cinematic God Forsations, because you know we God verse. I heard you, AD, a couple of weeks back. You was like, knowledge will say God verse. I'm glad, right. I'm glad that you do the knowledge like that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I was going to, um, when we do the movies, we're gonna do Sarah films. Mm. <laughs> Sarah films. Man. That's where we are, gods. Right. Yeah. yeah man. Sarah comes from cerebro or yeah. cerebrum in the mind. It talk off yeah. uh cover boys. We're on high frequencies right now, right? <laughs> right. right. It's good energy, yo. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. knowledge born does that. And um, Crumb, you 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 bring out some um, some information that uh, keeps the mind like you know always searching. And that's that's what that's a good job to do, man. Definitely love it, man. Yeah, y'all two get together and we we can definitely uh, put something together that'd be crazy. Where right. there you go. I'm just doing a super chat. Coverboy says Dukes of Hazard is better than Knight Rider. Yeah, you gotta put co- cover boy on. on. Well, put I mean, cover boy he's on his opinion. I, I mean, that's cover- that's ill. That's ill, though. That's an ill <laughs> connection. Like- Dukes, of, Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Dukes of Hazard. They had the General Lee. Right. Right. They had the General Lee and the Night Riders before they were the the Ku Klux Klan. They were called the Night Riders. Mm. Oh wow! So wow. Teach. It's the wow. same. Same connection. You see what I'm wow. saying? Same that. Connection. <laughs> this this, this <laughs> is what we were looking. This is what we were looking at. Mm-hmm. They were just some good old boys in the, in Hazard County, right? Daisy Dukes. So this is what they were doing. This is what we were looking at. We were we were looking at and championing a Confederate flag. So some folks that that's the Confederate flag. Some other folks they go back to ancient Kim. It just depend on what you see. You see what I'm saying? So the swastika is bad to some people and good to some people. But Uh-oh. those night riders, you know, that's what the name was before they became a fraternal entity, a fraternal Masonic order called the, the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. So back to the Jedi's and the council that y'all was talking about earlier, all of that. You understand what I'm saying? There's a connection, you know. There's a connection between it all. That must have happened. And America declared war on its people. <laughs> America declared war on its people. That's what that was about. That that civil war was about. So how do you fit into that scope in regard to your, the, your nationality or how you identify yourself? War was declared on you. And they fought each other for the disposition of who was the original inhabitants of the land. War of the masses. Out comes disaster. <laughs> and the victim family saved the ashes. ashes. A million names on walls and graved in plaques. Those who went back received penalties for the acts. What well, just it just broke down? What just it just broke down? It was a war between the North and the South. The South has succeeded from the Union. Mm. Those who went back received penalties for the act. Andrew Johnson created a sanction for them. They had to pay all of the restitution to come back and be a part of the union after being decimated through war. 
those who went back received penalties for the acts. That was the only way that they could get back into the room. It was like, no, we're not going to pay you for nothing. You have to pay us, and you're going to have to pay restitution to get back into the room. Everything that we destroyed through General Tecumseh Sherman total war concept. Mm. Was, outside, man, safe. No man is safe from. Okay, that's real. Right, so yeah. that total war concept and that decimation that happened, you had to pay for. It. You see what I'm saying? You had to pay for, it. and those who went back received penalties for the acts. Another hardest torn is close ones gone. Those who slayed get slayed on the. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. Shout, out Shout out to the Jizzle. Shout out to the Jizzle. Peace to the God. Man, so let's, can we move on to the music now? Yeah. Man, that was a beautiful man. Cause we're in the like, uh, I don't know what, sh- I don't know what stratosphere we're in right now. Right, right. That was the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. we're in a, in a good, we're in a good place. We lounge up between two pillars of ivory. Hey. Yeah. Hey. All right. Here we go. It's time for a segment oh. that we call Song Promotions. Promotions. Yeah. All right, let's get right to it. We already got some entries up in here. We've got uh, some submissions. We got a submission from none other than Master Student. Hey. Oh. Himself. All right. Oh. We're going to do that first. Crumb TV. Let's go. The artist name is Crip Jesus. Hmm. Name of the Shout song. That's right. Uh, the link to all of these entries are going to be in the description. So make sure y'all follow Chrome TV on YouTube. Hit the subscribe. And the name of this song is Revelations. Let's go. Great submission. That was a great submission. Great track. Mm-hmm. Good artist. Good video. And good chorus. I liked it a lot. Yeah. What y'all think? I liked it. I loved it. Mm-hmm. Beat, lyrics, video, all in one. Yeah, great flow. Was- no, I'm just say real quick. Great flow. Um, keep your knowledge up. You know what I mean? It teaches you something. You gotta pay attention, y'all. Like, use your third eye. You know what I mean? That's all I gotta say. It's like I'm reading this crypt the cryptures. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Those are like holy cryptures. Mm-hmm. Man. Yo, lyrics, flow, uh, dope video. Um, yo, just everything about that song was fire. Uh, that's, man, that's all I'm going to say right there. And that, that, that was fire. I'm going to just give them, give them gunshots. Give them gunshots. Looking to hear more. Yeah. Knowledge. A joint made me do the knowledge, right? I had to do the knowledge, too. It's it's tiered lyrics. Mm. So your ear is tiered. So whatever you heard and whatever resonated with you, he spoke everybody's language. He spoke everybody's language and he presented himself in the myriad of our cultures. We're not monolithic. We don't have one particular way. We have all the ways. So that's the, the all that comes together to create all love, all minds. You see what I'm saying? All minds coming together. So he, he spoke to us in colorful language. That That's the beauty of art. That it gives you the opportunity to catch up to it. And whatever resonates with you at one particular level, you go back on another, listen once, twice, three times. You get something different each time. So salute to Crip Jesus. Making it plain. Man, thank you for that submission, man. That was crazy. Yeah, you told me. Crumb, you want to say anything about uh, your own submission? Yeah, the part where he lynched himself. Um, I think it was visually um, jarring. Right. Um, I've I've seen a lot of his work, and that was one of the most. Um, descriptive scenes I've ever seen. You know, he really poured a lot of 
of uh, energy into that particular video. Uh, yeah, the I, I believe I have to go back and check, but I don't think there was any cursing in that video as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so even in terms of colorful language, he did keep it respectful. Um, I know that, you know, he um, he did 14 years. He had to sit down for 14 years. Um, when he came out, he really has a passion for his people, 5% nation, really trying to do and turn his life around. I support any of our brothers and sisters out here who really want to do better, regardless of what, you know, you can always be a, con a rose that comes from the concrete. Mm. Oh, nice. Well nice. All right. Next now, let's see. We got a track here from uh, FG Postmortem. Okay. It is called. This is a very rare diamond. The bucket list. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing this. Alright. Wearing only this. <laughs> In fact, I would say musicians are supposed to be God's harmony department. But most of the time, they're in discord and uh, they're in disharmony and they become commercial minded. But actually, music is what's supposed to keep people inspired, keep them seeing this uh, invisible beauty of the mind and spirit. Yeah, that's what music is for. This music sets me free. My body and all that jazz on the beat. Wonder where the soul goes. Don't rap about guns or slinging cocoa. They still all think that he loco. Sasquatch don't mean to toot his own horn. Sometimes it's like a Lord wrote for him. Most mortem, the most awesome at being boring. Draw your attention to Jack on the Titanic. Like one of your French girls. Show me your boots. Got my boobies, Jack. This jazz keep me moving, groovy and improving. Defying gravity, schooling your fig newtons. Poison the goyim, nobody allergic to gluten. This soul food for thought instead of noise pollution. The solution to the problems doing new things. Change the landscape into permanent spring. Always blooming, right for the taking. It's mind, body, and jazz for your stations. Liberated in a state of creation. Where the past, present, and future is the same thing. Timeless gem to add to thy playlist. Make albums in a month that glitch the matrix. Listen to this noise when I'm retired, fam. If I survive, not dying suddenly. After getting the jab at your Walgreens I made a bucket list like Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman When y'all realize any second y'all can stop breathing Like y'all on hospice with a couple months to live Do this for my kid, not the offspring of broke Even though I don't follow the Zodiac, she a Capricorn Just relax and kick palms over saxophones Doing the opposite of making matters worse Past, present, and future All the way to the end of truth into the world of myth, and then you got it made because you you stepped into the realm of impossibilities. And what this planet needs at this point is for something impossible to happen to show a better way. But actually, music is what's supposed to keep people inspired, and keep them seeing this uh, invisible beauty of the mind and spirit. That's what music is for. Just like these things that are happening are in your face and apparently you don't see them. Mm. And he's forcing you. Now it's born going viral, man. Like a mechanism <laughs> of giving you what you want because low, low vibration, low frequency, mm -hmm. but still attuning your mind to what's in front of you at the same time. Uh, That's why I call exactly. it like something psychedelic. All right. shot for that so just a couple things um i like i like the track a lot i feel like it doesn't need the intro i i know you're being very artistic and it was funny with the uh, arnold schwarzenegger doing the impressions and everything you're, you're an entertaining producer like a good youtuber i like that but i thought the beat was so good and the track was so good that it deserves just to start with that beat like you know what i mean i would have just started with that beat i like what you did at the end adding knowledge born that's always a great addition to any music that was awesome i like your ending but the beginning i would have just started with that beat and started right with that hip-hop because 
once that dropped, I was like, ooh, it had my attention all of a sudden. You know what I mean? It didn't start off so silly. Because at first, it was like kind of like a silly thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it got serious because it sounded like a really good hip-hop beat. I like that. The next thing to be critical on the mix is just I think your, your vocals need more compression because I couldn't quite hear all your words, and I want to hear it. You know what I mean? The, that beat deserves it. So uh, I would just like fix that mix so I can hear your vocals a little more clearly. And I, to me, it sounded like a compression issue. That's all I got to say about that. Everything else is cool. Nothing. I agree. I didn't hear the lyrics all that clear myself. The beat, I'm loving. And uh, keep doing your thing, but bring those vocals up, brother. It's good. I mean, um, you know, from what I've deciphered, you know, I mean, it's definitely very in tune with himself. He's definitely know what he's talking about. I know at least, you know, from what, what I've heard already. Um, smooth, jazzy, I love the beat. I love the beat, honestly, in general. Um, it was a great submission. I ain't gonna lie. And every time he um, gives us something, gives us something that's, that's fire. So, shout out to him. Bro? It put me in a mindset of MF Doom a little bit. Mm. Um, mm. I do agree with with AD. I think um, that intro, it caught me off guard. I didn't think he was going there with the beat based off the intro. I thought it was going to be something else. But, you know, mm -hmm. he came real, real yeah. smooth with that intro. Um, I think it was Arnold Schwarzenegger's face on a woman's body. Uh, I think that's that's what Kendrick Lamar did at one point in time. Mm. with one of his videos um so i know that technology is out there but I, I i think the song was strong enough on its own it didn't need it but even with it i still loved it i'm gonna say yeah the same thing um i was getting like uh more of a buckshot like smooth type of smoky smoky rhyme um but at the end of it i'm gonna say that uh, I agree with. How uh, about turning your vocals up when you before you turn it in? Always double check and make sure that it sounds loud enough. But uh, keep doing it, man, because you're on the right you're on the right path. Yeah, because he lyrically sounds good. You know what I mean? If you're a really good artist, you want to make sure you're heard. Uh, okay. How's it going? How's born? I love what he did. I love what he did. And the more you get a chance to study him, you'll see why he did what he did. He's defending the things that we're watching slip from our existence. All of the things that we claim to stand for. So if we're not careful, we can get a bait and switch. So if he didn't start with the Schwarzenegger situation, we wouldn't have appreciated everything that came after. So if he started with that to let you know, like, okay, this, I'm an artist that's not talking about drug dealing and killing. So now I'm painted like I'm the weirdo in this society because of that. So he's talking about himself and how society may view him as an artist because he doesn't have any of the, that murder rap or any of that drug rap. He's got music for your soul. So hence the soul reverberation of the beat that was there. And he was giving it all to the music that came before him. So again, I think with another submission we was talking about on the last show that be, it's hard for MCs to encapsulate that kind of jazzy natural sound. You have to be attuned for that. So I, I think that was the same thing that you were saying, AD, to somebody else who had that jazzy kind of live instrumentation sound in the background, you know, with their vocals, because you want to hear what they're saying. You want to hear that message. That message was very clear to me, you know, listening to it. And I can see what he stands for and what he stands on. And again, that's a rarity. And this is a perfect place for that message to be heard because mm. thousands of people are going to watch that and get attuned to that message. You know, I appreciated me and me. Um, also, that's an old, like, you know, y'all going to have to start, you know, paying some dollars or something, man. What's going on with this, man? So, no, I'm just begging. <laughs> but um, I, I love what he stands on and what he stands for. And he made it very plain tonight. 
Uh, normally, he has a crafty way of saying it, and he said it very plain. Mm -hmm. So he said, you know, if he gets a chance to get old, people can reflect on it. You know, so keep it now. Get it now. So for the artist that's out here, you know, your message, your your voice. <laughs> and what AD said, like, you know, like uh, in preset, shit, you don't know what, what your what your message is gonna be used and heard at. You see what I'm saying? Like you're not gonna mm. you're not gonna know where somebody's gonna get it and somebody's gonna use it. How many renditions did we hear uh, of a killer police song since the craft started? You see what I'm saying? So make that music, make it timeless. He said he creates timeless music. So I'm looking forward to some more timeless music because we need it. Or it's real. You know what I mean? Real. Yes, sir. Okay. Next now we've got a track here from uh Jack Dawson. The name of the song is called That. Or, or the Ot. <laughs> that sample with the with the piano bum bum, 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 bum. bum. i kind of would you know you know me i kind of want those drums to take Come more out. prominence there with that snare and then have those samples a little bit more tucked back that's to be hypercritical do you know what i mean because it's a good beat if i was gonna be hypercritical i would just push those samples back a little bit and i love those strings that dun, 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 dun. i probably would have brought those up because i wanted to hear more of those strings i love the orchestral vibe that's just my opinion but I like the concept of the beat itself. And I think once the issues of the mixing is different, I think you'd be ready to rock. Go ahead. I agree. I wanted to hear a little bit more of the drum beats in the back because they were kind of low. But the beat itself and what I was feeling, I'm liking it. Just bring those drums and the beats and the snares up a little bit more. My personal opinion. I like it. I mean, it was hardcore. It was raw. You know what I mean? I like it a lot. You know what I mean? That's a straight hardcore match, in my opinion. Like, took me in that room. Straight, like, somebody could, I could, I think anybody could um, go on that and, like, be versatile on that, that beat. But I think you got to bring the energy and be hardcore on it, you know, in my opinion. It was dope. I, I liked it. Uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins. I don't like to call a sample. Right. Uh, oh. Sound like you chopped up. Don't, 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 don't. Um, I put a spell on you. Oh, Whatever yeah. the cause is. Yeah. I put I a like spell that. on you. Yeah. Um, it's a good chop. You caught, you caught a, a, a spot that I wouldn't think of and looped that. And mm. then it sounded, it sounded hard. It sounded yeah. hard. But I thought that um, 
Premier did everything you could do to it, but nope. Mm. That shows you that there's always room for excellent. Yeah. That was dope. That was dope. What that? I definitely loved that intro. That thing just did something to me. The beat, I say from a one to a 10, I'll give it a seven. It was above average. That intro really caught my heart. Um, I, and I, I think Coach Solomon hit it on the head. You got to come hard on something like that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Movie stuff right there. That's, that's the stuff movies are made for. You know, <laughs> when, when you're scoring, this is how you score. The music sets the tone for the scene. You know, even if it's ever so lightly, there's something to be said about the music making and telling a story that either coincides with the scene or collides with it. It's overpowering, you know. So I love that whole occult type of feel that I've got. You see what I'm saying? From listening to the beat, it's 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 a cult. Like it's in the sanctum. It it got some horrible element in it. You see what I'm saying? It's all of it that you want to see. So the experimentation it, it did what it was supposed to do. Like I loved it. I love you know how it makes me think. Yeah. Just, just in case y'all wanted to know. You know, oh. hey, fire. Fire as always. 8.5. give it 8.5. Let's go. All right. Next up now, we've got a submission from Shokan from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Hmm. All right. And it's an MP3. Name of the song is. No, that can't be it. The Proof Slant. Prostitution. All right, here we go. Demonstrate, show Khan a savage, Cobra clutch microphone just to let you have it. Nothing but the raw. Got the hook from my nigga Ray Ray from Panama. Now I'm dope star. Bummers, motherfuckers know who we are. And if you don't let me introduce, show Khan slang prostitution. It's the proof, the absolute truth. 100 proof in the booth. Salute, phenomenal, execute, then the moose. Send you out of here. Pack it up, try again next year. And me, I'ma be right here. All up in your ear like a Q-tip And my palm rubber grips And you hope my fingers don't slip, nigga Probably got your ass up in Orlando setting up the next bitch. Shoot my ear to the street, fill me in like Craig David. Or who the fuck that hated? Then get back to the night when my crib got raided. And you, I inject the pen with a double dose of poison. False fake ass niggas left frozen. When I combust the explosion, skull and crossbones, busting niggas cross the dome with the chrome microphone. <laughs> Cool. 
Yo, it's good to hear some turntablism right there. That sounds dope. I liked it a lot. I like the track. I like the beat. Um, it reminds me of some underground stuff I used to listen to back in the day. Uh, I like it. That's cool. We need more of this music. That was cool. What do you think? I agree. I loved it. I really liked it a lot. That's some real production right there. Wings up. <clears throat> I love it overall. Uh, he, he put me in the room. I know that song's not done, so I'm going to just say it like that. But for a fact, like, I, he puts me in the room. He's telling a story, and that's what I like a lot. You know what I mean? The, the moment I heard the beat, I was like, he has to tell me a story. And I was ready for, I was ready to hear what he had to say and everything. It had to be hard. It had to be something that was real. You know what I mean? But I know that song's not done, though. I'm, a, I'm just going to put it out there. He, he, got something, he, he still got some more to um, tell us. You know what I mean? That's, that was dope. I like it a lot. Someone said, I hear Method Man vibes. It seemed like I was getting Killer Priest vibes from the, from the vocals. Mm. Um, you know, it, it was very much hip hop uh, overall, regardless. I definitely love that. Um, dare I say that was probably my favorite submission thus far. Okay. Alex? <clears throat> Yeah. I think you're muted. Yeah, we can. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. All right, I wanted to make sure my microphone was working. I had some issues with this joint right here. Yeah. This was, uh, this was hard. You see what I'm saying? Like, he, the last, you know, what was it, Monday? The last submission? That was his first time submitting, right? This is his second time, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm with you, Crumb. There's a presence that you have on the microphone. You see what I'm saying? Like if you hear like Killer Priest, or if you hear like a Scarface, you know it's a Scarface. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like so, so he has a very big presence, very big presence. So I'm excited to see what other stories he's going to tell us. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, I hope he keeps submitting. Because he has a very, very big presence on the microphone. Very True indeed. Presence. And he sounds like he has a, a healing journey or some pain story that he needs to release to. You see what I'm saying? Like he's been carrying it around for a long time. So I, I think he finally found an outlet that works for him. So he should stick to it and continue to use this as a healing mechanism for him. Mm. Mm, I agree with that. Oh, and my dad's in the background. He he heard it. He loved it. Bye. A sons of man seed. Okay. Approach. Mm -hmm. I hear it. A Z vibes. Oh. Okay. All right. Next, now we got Year of the Mosquito, Master of the Universe. Name of the song is "There Is No Greater Goal Than Love." Mosquito. I remember his beats. Like my baby's love. Bus, 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 bus. Hello, mosquito. Hello, mosquito.
That was fire. Good job. I, I like um, the way Mosquito does his arrangements. Yes. Exactly on point. You've got your eight bar chorus, 16 bar verse, eight bar chorus, 16 bar verse, eight bar chorus, and then you do a lead out. Perfect. You set the song up perfectly for an artist. Great mix, great volumes. Good job. That was fire. What, you th- what y'all think? You took the words right out of my mouth. Again, Mosquito, you bit me. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you last time I was here, and you got beats, baby boy. Keep doing what you're doing. Make that music magic. I'm a full-blown addict. I got to have it. And thanks for the um, live chat messages that I'm seeing up there. Thank you. Blessings to y'all. Woo Wednesday live Killer Priest podcast. Yeah, that, was, <clears throat> that was good. That was good. I liked it a lot. You know. Buzz, 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 buzz. I, I, I'm stuttering. But, um, <laughs> yo, it was dope. I ain't gonna lie. It was, it was good. I, I heard straight gospel. Like, I heard straight gospel rap. I heard, that's what I heard. The, the feeling of the energy of it. I think it's a dope beat. You know what I mean? It's Mosquito, so I know it's already ready. You know what I mean? Great vocals, great sample. It was dope. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, it reminded me of the easy like a Sunday morning mm. when Cameron had did it. Mm. Um, you know, it was that gospel, just like you know, our uh, coach Solomon was saying it. It was that gospel thing, but you know, it had that hip hop chipmunk Kanye thing in there. <laughs> mm. Um, you know, he took him to church a little bit. <laughs> um, I definitely noticed, and I, I I didn't even know it was called the arrangement, uh, but I noticed there was a spot for the rapper and go, you know, you, you couldn't really mess up with that one. So yeah, mm-hmm. kudos. So I like summer. <laughs> it sounds sound like summer. It sounds like family. It sounds like love. It, it sounded like all of the sights and the sounds that I'm missing and how you could see a decline and a determine towards that kind of feeling. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is, is this is where hip hop met R and B. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is a love story. So hearing somebody on it, you know, the artist can touch on whatever they wanted to touch on, but whatever is your love story, your love story may not look like mine or the next person, but that's a beautiful place to tell your story. Beautiful place to tell your story. And mosquito always does it to where. It could stay like this, or somebody could do something. So very versatile. I agree. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and yeah. All right. Next now we got a track from Cap Jones and Underland Fortress. Hey. Cap Boy. Jones. Cap Jones and Underland. Yep. Uh. Collaboration. Uh, he says he is working with me on one of four EPs I'm about to release in a box set. That's from Cap Jones. Oh, wow. No. Here we go. Name of the song is Antidote. <laughs> Shit. We got the antidote for these zombies. We got the antidote, yeah. We got the antidote for these zombies. We got the antidote, we got the antidote, yeah. We got the antidote for these zombies. We got the anna, we got the antidote, yeah. We got the antidote for these zombies. Hey, 
Y'all nobody want this It's Cap Jones in the Underland Fortress The truth hurts Got the main and the mistress Sitting at the same dinner table with the children It's uncomfortable, but that's how I give it Cause the devil's just as close as he kindred I'm a lion in the middle of the wolves den With the spirit in my chest and a full pen Just know, Jenna put me on a mission Knew I had shit to say but told me to listen She said, son, you're in the middle of a journey To survive and this world is gonna take real learning Your father's a ghost Keep all your enemies close Don't eat the meds and don't vote I replied, mom, dudes, I got you Iron sights at the end of this rifle I put my bullets all down right there on the beat Take a sip of hot tea and let the shit breathe Then when I decide, I let the trigger go Metaphysical, throwing lead off the watch of spiritual I am just like you from birth through life cycle This is a revival, we live or we die The outcome looks bleak, but I trust you and me That's how it should be, and this is our time, God bless We got the antidote for these zombies We got the antidote, yeah, we got the antidote for these zombies We got the antidote, we got the antidote, yeah, we got the antidote for these zombies We got the anna, we got the antidote, yeah, we got the antidote for these zombies Y'all better wake up, no alarm clock, leave the hot spot and reconnect the earth before the bombs drop. The lights in the cars, the dope, the nights in the bars, that's not who we actually are. The selfies, the fake, pictures and portraits we paint. Don't erase all the mistakes, the traps and the wage. You're locked in the life that they made, all ads at the top of a page. We live and don't learn, culture is hijacked, the masses get burned. The facts remain tragic and firm, and they just promote what we lack to attack us. In fact, we subscribe to appease our concerns, but we can build back open up our minds to divine contact re-establish get in tune there's a god within you and your essence will bloom bloom we got the antidote for these zombies we got the antidote yeah we got the antidote for these zombies we got the antidote we got the antidote yeah we got the antidote for these zombies we got the anna we got the antidote yeah we got the antidote for these zombies It. Coach Kandaka says, uh, makes you want to ride out on some zombies. <laughs> <laughs> she says it's in the whip. Mm. That was fire. That was cool. I think it sounds good. I like the beat. I li- I'm, I'm always a fan of Cap Jones. <clears throat> yes. I, like I his have sound. to agree. He's very clear. I can understand what he's saying. Mix is good. And I'm really feeling the beats. I love that choir sound in the background. Uh, it, sounds really, it sounds like something I would listen to. I like, I like big, epic stuff. And this one was, was a little bit euphoric. And I like that. So I'm, I'm a fan. What y'all think? I'm a fan, fam. Um, since day one, being introduced to Cap Jones, you already know. I love your music. I love your lyrics. I love the ideas that you bring to the art of mastering beats. Salute, Cap Jones. You already know. Fire, fire, fire. Anna Assassin, I see you. Peace and blessings, Queen. Hey, yeah, it was dope. Um, I remember you gave us you submitted this before. I remember. Um, yeah, I remember you submitted this before. So this is the first time in, him and Underland at the same. Okay, I got you. So, yeah, dope. I I love the mix. I love I love both the um, you know, I love Cap Jones. I love Underland. Now I mean, the, the CI worked together. It correlated. It it, it was respectful. It was, it was real. You know what I mean. Cap Jones already knows. I, I think I think he's dope. So, shout outs. You know what I mean, bro. Yeah, I loved it. Um, he's a moderator, good dude, positive energy. Really liked him in the comments. I was a little bit biased before I even heard the song. Got to be honest with you. As soon as I heard the name, I'm like, okay, I'm looking for <laughs> good things from a good brother. Um, but no, uh. Other than, you know, my personal, what I, whatever I've gained from the brother, I do notice that um, that beat, that beat was, was pressure. It was definitely hot sauce. I loved it. It was um, on point. Uh, the music was there. The lyrics was there. Um, overall, I would, I would bang it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alex? Mm-hmm. Mm. 
<laughs> we got a double dosage of Kappa dopeness right here. <laughs> His Tell name him is knowledge. Cap Jones, aka Kemp Jones, aka Shimmy Shimmy Yow. Yay. <laughs> That's shimmy shimmy y'all right there. Him and under. You know, when y'all say under, y'all gotta say like you say it on the track. Under. under. You gotta put it under. You see what I'm saying? So they dug under the graves to raise us up from being slaves over mental death and power and gave us that wake up that we need. Okay. Yeah. And under. Mm. Shimmy shimmy y'all. <laughs> Man. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Mom. All right. Next now we got a track here from Fella B from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, he's saying he's asking the most high to bless the show. And hey. the name of this track is called Peace to the Most High. <laughs> Australia be on the jam. Yeah. This is from Australia? Yep. Ooh. Gangstar. Right? Mm. Rest in peace, Guru. like this make me want to spit go ahead y'all know sister asia's a hip-hop junkie i ain't no funky peace and blessings to the gods and the earth this beat is giving a new birth blessings to everyone on this planet that we call earth when we were young, God gave us a gift to compose. We enhanced the mind of others who chose to be foes. But then the awesome, they try to get this one. Interrupt Sister Asia before her lyrics are done. A brother tripping, getting caught slipping. It's been forbidden, they force me. Sister Asia start tearing shit up. I tell them, shut the up. I used to be that rebel, rebelling with my own mind. Yeah, I lived a life of crime just to make a dime at that time. But that's the past. It is not something that's gonna last. We're in the future. Salute to all the MCs out there. To the beat makers, to the graffiti artists. Y'all are part of the hip hop culture. Peace and blessings be upon all of you. Who would have ever knew that I would be here? Spitting some lyrics. To all of you, peace and blessings to the Most High. Peace and blessings to the Most High. What? To the Most High. Can I throw a verse in there? Yeah. Okay. Wake up in the morning to. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wake up in the morning to a bowl of cereal. I want Fruit Loops, but we got Cheerios. Lord knows I love my son, God, but I'm tired of watching SpongeBob. <laughs> hey, my girl, she hogging the bathroom. When you gonna be out? I'm gonna be out soon. She said, you a man, so it ain't no uh. thing. You can go outside. I'm outside the rain. So then I get a call on my cell, and I'm mad. Cause it ain't Chad or Pharrell, it's my worst on boss. His name is Nate, he said come in early. And can you leave late and don't take a lunch, just a 10 minute break. So I skate in the car, hit the radio, blast it. But it stopped in the tunnel cause I'm stuck in traffic. So I finally made it to work. And the only other dude at work is a jerk. His name is Sean and he's an actress. If he keeps begging, I'ma carry him on my taxes. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, that was dope, bro. Wow! Yo, we haven't done a Zoom 
freestyle before. I had to drop the beat so that I can make sure that you came in right. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it can be a challenge to get the levels right. But it looks like everybody heard you good, so that's good. Nice. That, that was, was fun. <clears throat> yeah. That was fun. <laughs> I might be able to. Uh, I might be able to highlight that on a separate segment. So that would be kind of cool. Separate video. Nice. Yo, that was fire. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That beat was fire. <laughs> yeah, that's what what happens when I hear a beat. I a, think I'm an MC. A good beat, because mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's a good beat, the freestyling will just start to happen. Right. Right. So that's good. It, it initiated it in you guys. So shout out to fellow oh, B. I liked it. What y'all think? Yes. <laughs> Yo, nah, my dad loved that. You know what I mean? But I love it too. You know what I mean? That was fire. I ain't gonna lie. When you get when you get that energy going, you know what I mean? It it, it, it gives it. It's a nice it's a nice feel around the room, and everybody everybody can flow with music. It's dope. I mean, it's produced well. Um, that was a dope beat. That was a dope beat. That was fire. I ain't gonna lie. That was great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, noise. Yeah, I liked it. Yep. I loved it. <laughs> now it's born. Are you there? You almost got me to rhyme on that joint. I mean, I, I could bring it back. No, no. Nah, nah. after, after I heard Sister Asia, I'm like, man, I'm not Yeah, she went in. Yeah, that was a perfect add-on. A perfect add-on. That's the blessing of knowing this MC that's here hosting this show, Killer Priest. Trust me, we got our little history. Mm. Remember? Yeah. I was the one in the video with Ghostface Killer and Killer Priest when we had to right. get back at Martin Scarelli. <laughs> End of subject on that one. <laughs> Man. Man. That, was perfect. that was perfect. And we went from Cap Jones and Under to the land down Under. Okay, with Fella B. Yes, and Australia. Y'all gave it authenticity. It's, it's beautiful to hear beats and then to hear, you know, what's in the mind of the artists at the time. So y'all brought it out. Y'all made that knowledge born right there. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Knowledge born, yes. Knowledge born. Shout out really? to Knowledge Born. They hear good hey. beats sometimes. All right, all right. Next now. We got a track submit. We only got a couple more here. Uh, three more. Right. We got a submission from DJ Aurora Borealis. Hey. From the Holy City of New York. Name Holy of, City of New York. Name of the song mm -hmm. is Grey Skull. Oh. Getting dark. It up with basil. Mm. Check the scale. Mm. A single, paceful, spaceful, never racial. Smack you when you're facial. With the back of a stable, <laughs> making syrup like maple. The shit is Ooh. hazel, interfacial. Smoke the flasel by replacing. Not capable. I'm on PayPal. Shit is special with the main gal. Stay gal, pray gal. AD. It's incapable. Mm. I'm just I'm just fucking playing with a rhyme dictionary. <laughs> Spitting that knowledge. Hey. Man. 
So, I mean, it's it, I like the concept of where it's going. It's just once that bass drum came in, that, that's like not even a bass drum. That was what's called a grand casa in an orchestra. Mm. In an orchestra, they have that giant drum. That, mm-hmm. They don't call it just a big-ass drum. That's called a grand casa. Right. And you're, it's meant to just be hit softly. Boom. But that one sounds like it's being hit. Like, Harder. like uh, yeah. Like, like, like an Imagine Dragons video or some shit. You know what I mean? It's a little, it's it's rough, but it's all in the mix. I like what he's doing with the uh, with the orchestra, with the uh, with the organs. Mm-hmm. It's all in the mix. But yo, I, I'm telling you, uh, Aurora Borealis. If you send me the stem files, let me do a little mix for you, master it, and send it back. I'm gonna show you the difference. It'll make such a difference. I'll do it for you for free, bro. Just send wow, it to me. Let me mix it real quick. Send me the stem files. It sounds like four or five stems. It's all in the mix. That's all I gotta say. What y'all, what y'all think? I mean, it had me open. <laughs> yeah. So I loved it. Yeah, it was dope. Um, <clears throat> yeah, somebody gotta go crazy on that. Like somebody gotta just throw whatever they wanna throw in there and just say what they have to say. You know what I mean? You gotta go, you gotta just you gotta take yourself to another realm with that one. I mean, it was very unorthodox. I like that. You know what I mean? It's gotta be real somebody gotta really bring some crazy just Wordplay with it, you know. What I mean, you gotta have you gotta have fun with that. You got, somebody gotta have fun with that though. But that was definitely dope. You know, what I mean, it was gritty, it was hard, it was raw. I like it. You know what I mean, I'm no homo. Fire. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely gritty. Um, I think Ad hit it on the head with this one. Those drums seem to drown a lot of the other stuff out. Um, I think the drums were strong. They were just a little bit. Uh, overpowering for the rest of the beat i still liked it um but yeah just get that good mix and it'll be good as gold yep knowledge three two two one <laughs> action Sal- Solomon supposed to be on that beat right there. <laughs> mm. man that that ferociousness that that you know that was discussed in the other build, mm-hmm. is it. that's the place for it. Yeah. This is where all your aggression can go. <laughs> Tell Rory, don't send that shit to nobody else. You know? <laughs> hey, AD can clean it up after you get. I need you to 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 get ferocious on that beat right there, uh-huh. like raw meat, like raw meat. And then <laughs> AD, you can clean it up after the Man. raw meat, but you gotta. Yeah. Y'all heard how AD was spitting on that beat? I was just laying words out. No, I wasn't no, really. No, no, no. Look, you see how you do it? You see that? You see that? If the beat didn't do that, AD wouldn't have did that. Yeah. <laughs> no, the energy so the, was so there, but. Yeah, that's it. That's it. AD Man. said it's about to get dark. Yeah. It's going to get dark. Huh. Dark Might have been dark, but you brought gym. the light. <laughs> Halloween. I got to follow this mean. Like a, it's, like a dark, this is, it's a dark gym, right? <laughs> this is dark gym, right? Dark gym. It's, 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 it's dark supposed to be gym. springtime, not fall time. Man. Yeah. Some people can't wait for Halloween. You know or, those people. Yeah. They just waiting around yeah. for Halloween. <laughs> See, man, yeah, I, I heard Crumb drop Friday the 13th on y'all. Was y'all ready for that? Uh-huh. Was y'all ready for that Jimmy drop on y'all? Yeah. So you, you, you see, that's why Jason wearing that mask on Friday the 13th. Mm. Hey. I'm going to get up out of there. I'm going to leave that. Mm. Don't, don't say Crumb ain't tell y'all what it is. What you think, Priest? Oh, man. Like, I'm going to turn up these drums. Take over the world. <laughs> you know what's hitting that red line. Yeah, it was way past that red line. Turned it up like a mad scientist, like a Frankenstein, mm. like lightning hit, hit, you know what I mean? It was just that hard. Like, you get on that, it got to be. He's yeah. alive. Yes. He's alive. Oh, that was, that had, that had lightning, everything to it, man. That was crazy. That was, that was hard. Keep it going. Hey. Somebody said, that's your born killers. That's your born killers. <laughs> I like that. That's <laughs> a dope one. Me master killer and, and Ghostface. That's from killers. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we still got a couple more beats to go here. Hey. And Assassination Day got stalk my enemy like Craig. We got none other than 
cover boy. Cover boy. He's got two beats for us. You already know. <laughs> this one is track two called PowerPoint Presentation off of his new instrumental album called Startup Sequence. Blessings on your album. are low and he holds me in his arms I get a feeling of love our love is hotter than fire rising higher and higher love I never felt before will dwell in me forevermore starlight star bright for a star I see tonight I wish I may I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. Okay, here we go. Everything was fine, but something in my mind said you was cheating. Somewhere down the line, you got caught creeping. At the time, it was weekends. It danced to the week, to the point that every time you had a chance, you would creep. <sighs> okay, okay. I told you I was grieving, leaving, I had enough. You tried to play it tough, doubted me and called my bluff. Like Puff and Faith, I'll be missing you. Reminiscing too, I can't help it, I miss my boo. But I can't take it or fake it, I know what's going on. You broke a genuine bond, that's where the line's drawn. You let me to believe you needed more room to breathe. Boom, it slip in, more men, a tight squeeze. I'm like, please, if worse came to worse, I wouldn't mess with you. If you was the last girl on earth, you showed me your worth. Less than 10 cents If you didn't want to lose me What was your intent? Last steps of doozy Ooh. Look where love went And you knew it So I'm wondering why'd you do it? Cause it was love between us Like Jennifer Hewitt But you blew it So finally I say oh well Cause you got caught in the net Like AOL How could it be? That girl tried to play a G. American woman, stay away from me. <laughs> yeah, this That's is fire. Tra- that was fire, um, drum. This is track three from the same album. Uh, that was Rocket Love. Oh, man. That's true, Rocket Love right there. there. Rocket Love. That's yeah. Rocket Love right there. Killed the two. Mm-hmm. Killed it. I like where he's going with this because it sounds like Loki. Remember Loki and the TVA it has kind of a '70s vibe, but it's still high tech. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you've seen the Loki show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It sounds like yes. he's in the TVA. It sounds, uh, you know, it's that '70s type of vibe, but you know, just uh, kind of sci-fi connected. But Coverboy going in. What y'all think? Well, I think. Y'all know what I think. For Coverboy to put that beat out there and then for me to spit on it like that. Like I said, guys, it's the beats. You just feel it and you want to rhyme on it. And I just, I loved it. Coverboy, you already know. Salute. Fire. Yeah, definitely dope. Um, <clears throat> it it kind of goes with what Chrome was even talking about earlier, you know, Star Wars. You know, the truth about Star Wars. I mean, both, both, yeah. both of the tracks, you know what I mean? Like... It was like a, um, it was a love story between war and, and the stars. You know what I mean? I was walking on stars, and that's what I took. That's the place it took me to. So shout out to Coverboy. You know, you put me in the realm. You know what I mean? You put me in the place. So that was that was dope. That how everything all corresponded. Salute. Um, it was fire. That beat. That beat was fire. Everything about that beat, man. It was it was like a journey. Y'all blessed it. You know what I mean? I got on there and um, from you went crazy on that, man. It was just like magic. Everything. Everything about that beat was incredible. I like it. And I like that loop. You know what I'm saying? The, just the, the basic sound of it. So 
Send that over. Hey, well, we've got one more submission from Coverboy. Shout out to my man Chris, too, from uh, um, Chris and Lance from um, Alaska. Oh, yeah, yeah, shout yeah. Them out. yeah. Shout out to him. I thought he had said something today. Oh, he sent someone on Monday. On Monday. He said it was good. Oh. That's, what, that's when you were like, is that Lance? Yeah. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, it was Chris. We still got sing out there. Oh, we still got more from the um. Okay, so we, we wasn't finished. <laughs> yeah, we got track four um from Cover Boy's album. All right. So let's go. Drums are coming. <laughs> get that, get that, get that, get that. Dude, my man was sick. <laughs> With the virus I caught it. These raps are like ZD with garlic. A camouflage, jab, wall, star, spotty, audio, audio. If it's garbage to y'all, bought it. But my product, code name, knowledge, nah. Heavy hypnotic, got the whole game retarded and dearly departed. You hear me, don't get me started. My vocal bless the beats. Put it in your local, let it infest your streets. Oh yes, total global conquest, defeat. Step one's a mogul, go, go, gadget cleats. Oh Come on, come on. <laughs> Let's go, this is what we do here. Okay. You can get a dose of this. Ain't nothing close to this. Nobel activist, nonfiction vocalist, anti-passionate, low pro killer, cocaine potency, lyrical dope dealer, profane poetry, spit like a gorilla, and a mega popular. In this Black Planet opera, the movement when I set the vision is like Verizon broadband, high definition, gladiator grammar, Pandora with a pen. More of an alpha aura, origin, rock him, and I'm on it. Weapons of mental mass destruction, atomic, confidential, sci-fi, phonic. You can smell it in the air, forte warfare, backpack bombshell, set it like Ric Flair, chair. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it was hard to catch that beat. Hmm. You got it. Got it. Man, yeah, you got it. That yeah, was that, fire. That was yeah. fire. And you blessed it with the lyrics, bro. Yeah, I, again, very bro, much in come that on. TVA. I didn't know you spit like that. So it's such a low key track. I love it. But like, I get it. To each his own. Me personally, I would. I felt like drums were about to drop, and I felt like this awesome beat was about to come. And Underland Fortress said he will, he'll put some drums on it too. But I get where Coverboy is coming from too. Coverboy is also coming from the mindset where like, nah, it's good right there. It's good the way it is. Boom. And he's right in, in in his own way, too, because as an artist, you know what is enough. You know what I mean? Not every sound needs to have drums. Priest did a whole album without drums, and it sounded amazing, so I get it. You don't necessarily need to have a drum beat. I'm spoiled, Which one as Knowledge Born says. Um, but, like, my head is like, ooh, I can hear, like, a shuffle beat about to drop with some loud-ass snare. You know, I love them boom baps. Mm. You know what I mean? But, like, I get I get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, not every... Uh, what's a good analogy? Um, not every burger needs lettuce. Not oh every gosh. pizza needs <laughs> toppings. I don't know. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to make an analogy. But I get it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I got you. I got you. Not every cake needs sprinkles. I don't know what else to say. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. It's, it. It sounds good the way it is, too. Go ahead. What y'all think? I thought it was dope. One amazing producer. You mm. already know, Cover. I loved it. Blessings. And thanks for all the live chats that I'm reading up on the screen. Blessings to everyone. So. I love the art and being a part of this party. Y'all know art is the center word of party. Hey. <laughs> so 
Cover Boy puts you in a realm where, like, if you're gonna do a project on it, you know, it gives you he gives you length to do a whole project on yeah. it. You know what I mean? And that's what I like about what Cover Boy gives you. You know what I mean? It's, it's dope because it, it puts you whatever realm or world you want to put yourself into. Mm-hmm. He you could, yeah, you could draw it out because it, it's it's a realm that he's putting you in. Like even even when I talk about like the walking on stars and space and all that type of stuff, like that's just where it took me. You know, it might take somewhere else, somewhere else, somewhere different. But I could see somebody just talking about a whole project on that one track that he gives you a whole track list. So I think it's dope. I like it. You know what I mean? Shout out to Coverboy, man. That was dope. That was fire. And again, the MC just made it come alive. The beat was dope, Coverboy. Yo, keep it coming like that. That was incredible. Indeed. Yeah, I loved it. I love Cover Boy's stuff. I love this other beat too. Really, really talented. Salute to him. Hey. Blessings to you too. Can't see what it says there. Something fortress. Underland fortress. He says, <laughs> "Bless, blessings, Sister Asia." Blessings to you too, loved one. <laughs> now it's born. Hey, oh, man. Is he gonna let me speak this time? Yeah. Hey, just skip me like, the, you know what I'm saying? Nuh-uh. <laughs> when the MCs came to live out the name and to perform some hat, to snort cocaine just to act insane. <laughs> Yo, yeah. this was nuts right here. Crumb Crum and Sister Asia, I need to collab on them beats, man. <laughs> Cover, I know you don't be working outside of Killer Priest, but you better make an exception this time. Man. Thank you for that, brother. No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Asia crumb crumb Asia, something like that. You know what I'm saying? We need something like that. Queendom, kingdom see- come. Yeah. We, yeah. Need to see A- West A-C. Coast, East Coast, we hip hop. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Next. That's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I wasn't sure if Knowledge Born had <laughs> more to say. Yeah. East Coast, Paul East Coast. Since okay. they just stopped him in his tracks. Yeah, I don't want to so. interrupt. Pardon self. No, no you, you did it right. No, I'm just saying. Do it. When you it's said good. that, it was just a statement. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah. Knowledge Born absorbed it. It's just like, that's what it is. It. That's what it is, Lord. All right. Well. That concludes the song promotion segment. Thank you to all who submitted. You guys are going to be able to follow all the links to all the all those songs that we played in the description about an hour after the show. Um, if you want to submit for the next episode, go to killerpriest.tv slash song promo. Links are in the description. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Yo, man. Priest laughing at some random stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. All blessings do, man. Of all blessings to it. My if if you're looking at this camp, shout out to my family, man. I love I love them. Man. Oh, as a my uncle. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My uncle. Who's that quest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Man. Uh quest? quest. Oh yeah, uh Katakana Quest says Asia and Crumbs. Asia and Crumbs. Hey, the project. Yeah, yeah, this is, um, this is dope, you know? This is definitely, um, got the, you know, definitely sorry, dope sound. Nah, you good, you good. Oh, uh, uh, man. Got it? You want me? Yeah, my cousin always had me dad left. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm good. All right. My uncle, <clears throat> yeah, he's getting old. He's up in age, man. I get you. No, we on the show right now. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, that was dope. This is dope, though. You know, this is definitely, um... Dope, don't, those song promotions, I always love when people submit and show show the talents and art, you know what I mean? I, I want everybody to, like, come out there and, like, just give us something, you know what I mean? Like, get some good criticism, you get some good feedback, some positive feedback, you know what I mean? Real feedback. So that was definitely true, you know what I mean? It was dope, you know, having, like, everybody submit their songs with all confidence and everything like that, because I know it could, it could be it could be a lot to put yourself out there. So and I appreciate everybody who puts themselves out there. Dope MCs is is dope projects being worked on between each other. You know what I mean, that's the community that I see within people in general. So that was definitely fire. I ain't gonna lie, I love you. I love all y'all. And um, I mean, anybody else got more to say before? Like, I want to thank. I want to thank uh, once again. I want to thank um, the master student. Yeah. I want to thank uh, Crumb for that beautiful presentation. Yeah. 
and I'm I'm looking forward to hear more. And you and um you and I was born collabing on something. That'd be crazy. And Salo, so you like you like watching cartoons. Your thing is cartoons, though, right? Cartoon anime. You know what I mean? That's you know I'm always thinking deep about stuff. So yeah. I, I appreciate Crumb for that too. Like it's, it gives. You, I always think 4D and 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 I go to a different realm when I when I think about real stuff like that. Like as I, I like I liked how you broke down Star Wars. That was actually dope. I actually be really curious on how you would break down. Like you ever you ever heard of One Piece? Nah, okay. That's like anime. Like that's like anime. It's called One Piece. Yeah, One Piece. I, I would love to if if you ever get the chance. It's a lot though. It's like a thousand episodes. I'm just letting you know. That Make right me now. think of Pollo Loco because that's so, where I get a three piece. Because it, it, that's all. That's all world building, but it breaks the fourth wall. So you, <laughs> I think you would love it. You know, what I mean, if I just recommend an anime for you, or like you know, Attack on Titans. Those those are my two animes to throw at you and check it out whenever you get the chance to. You know, but I love to see you break it down. You know what I mean? But. Yeah. Shout out to you, Crumb. Shout out to you. I want to thank uh, Knowledge Born. Knowledge Born. And always, always. Oh, you, you want to say something? Always the great uh, Sister Asia. I just want to give praise and thanks to the Most High, Killer Priest, your son, AD. The moment here with all of you following this live chat. It's amazing. A big shout out to Kind Hearts Media, Stilts, Cherie. And for those in California, we got a big Back to Basics coming up without the house productions. Raz, Kaz, Havoc. A lot of people are going to be on that bill. Make sure you follow out the house productions. Blessings be upon everybody. And most important, we need prayer warriors. Stay prayed up. A lot going on in the universe, in the world, as you know, the weather. So peace and blessings be upon everyone, my seeds, grand seeds, and all of you out there. Hip hop forever. Love you all to life. Hey, just like that. Uh, Crumb, do you have anything you want to say? Yes, to uh, of course. I want to thank you to uh, the man of the hour, the host with the most, uh, Killer Priest. Uh, AD, uh, AD, I greatly appreciate you, my good brother. Yes. Coach Solomon, always chiming in, always tapping in, always good to tap in with you, brother. Sister mm -hmm. Asia, it's a pleasure. Beautiful energy. I'm humbled and honored that the, the mods in the craft room, you guys are really on top of everything. Everybody who, who brought and uh, dropped submissions tonight, I loved it all. Uh, really good energy. Um, Crip Jesus, that's, that's pro, you know, that's my man, 100 grand for my channel as well. Uh, shout out to him. I am your humble brother, Crumb, the master student over on YouTube, the uh, Crumb TV. Go check me out over there. Um, I just want to thank all of you. I am grateful. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Anything knowledge you want to say? Mm-hmm. Oh, my cousin is crazy, yo. Y'all yeah. getting busy over here working. So we got to do. Probably got to collab on something great. You know what I'm saying? Time for them to be able to the greatness. You see what I mean? So, Sister Asia, you know, you're a transformative warrior. You see what I'm saying? Transformative Give warrior. Give thanks. And you know, you're getting younger every time I see you, so I don't know what you got oh. going on over there. But uh, equality, equality, baby, it's the most high. And it's love, it's love, and you know, be the reason for the season. Your your message, your story, your your methodology, your silence. You understand what I'm saying? Like love, man. Like let you, let your knowledge add on. What do you say? Let your knowledge add on. Let your knowledge be gone. Blessings. Uh oh. Check us out on Friday. So we getting busy on Friday. We get we got some Tupacalypse now going on. We're gonna mm. break down all things Tupac. You know that's his his physical is on the sixteenth. Born day, yes. Nineteen seventy one. So we're gonna get esoteric. We might get astrological. You know, and um, catch us on Astrology Jesus this Sunday, hey. nine p.m. Eastern. You so, said Sunday, brother. Friday. We're going to be on Doing Knowledge Radio, getting busy, and then catch us on with the, the God finale, Kyle Zodiac. You, you know. We'll be getting busy over there. Um, speaking of, Sunday. speaking of the God finale, we uh, interrupt this broadcast for a special presentation. Uh-oh. We just got a last-minute submission from the God finale. Yeah. You now we got the static, got the static that just yeah. cuts all off. You know what I mean? That's, that's so we got one more submission 
Okay. And you know we can't deny the God finale. <laughs> we almost closed out on him. Astrology. Mm. We almost Thank closed you, out. Kim. He made it. You set that up. See the alley you right there? That it's still Gemini season. You set him up. Yeah, that's true. Still Gemini season. Word, man. Just like that. That's a segue right there. Hey. We're going to do our God finale right now with Kyle Zodiac with a song called Tree of Life. Here we hey. go. Stay in the mud. I done reached the highest level and I raise it above. A lion with bull's horns and the grace of a dove. Lightning in my veins, I'm too amazing for blood. I'm the tree of life. I'm gonna stay in the mud. I done reached the highest level and I raise it above. A lion with bull's horns and the grace of a dove. Tidal sound waves every day is a flood. Michael Myers ground cave for the ancients I dug. Halloween follow dreams, who can say what he does? I can imagine I'm Aladdin on Arabian rugs. I am back and I am back and make it steady and buzz. Spirit place me in position, you can't pay me to budge. Sock it to him, shock the room, you step away from the plug. They whisper about my last appearance, how amazing it was. I watch him fluid in the walking man, my face in his mug. Zodiac teacup with echinacea and shrubs. Sweet neck to make me special, extra alien drugs. Thugs pumping shotguns, that's mammalian blood Zig Zodiac, Jihad, Goldie Mac, Jihad Plant medicine from an Amazon tree frog Try to like beside a tetragrammadon, sea god Heart of the forest, ghetto Amazon, beat nod Shooting to the spring breaks, the hammers on beats bod Man at arms, peace odd, everything I peeps odd Appears to be together, two peas inside a pea pod My eye appears too clever just for me to write a street blog Infinite knowledge came a prophet from the deep fog Who left the mic in hospice to impossible with a triage and the CL is TOC with no T bars, chloride, acid at the bank, the stone G lodge. Drop the eighth house on the witch, you won't free yards. The sir hammock, ceramic, and gold T bars. Always had brains, I brought in my own geek squad. Rhyme book jumping pad to pad like a leapfrog. Grants from the tree of life bank that couldn't be logged. The brain shouldn't be clogged. I trained in fatigue, jog terrain, and your dream smart. Failed trying to clone the god again from a cheek swab. The rain and the leap mob. Lightning in my veins is too Amazing blood, I'm the tree of life, I'm gonna stay in the mud. I done reached the highest level and I raise it above. I like bull's horns in the grace of a dove. Lightning in my veins, I'm too amazing for blood. I'm the tree of life, I'm gonna stay in the mud. I done reached the highest level and I raise it above. I like bull's horns in the grace of a dove. The human body houses breath, yeah, and I'm an Airbnb, Adi Ali Oxen. I'm that red T and T, ride the snake easily. High your red frequency, divide the shares equally. No time to spare, be to be. Gave them all a piece of me. My chart is like a pizza seat. Plant a top and go out on a limb like a piece of tree. Spit a dish, shoot Blu rays to kill your DVD. Diplomat, make them bow their heads, that's a DDT. The rest will know the place to stay in and go peacefully. Son of man, lying to the world, not the CDC. C to C, trilogy, cock a doodle. Picture see copper Buddha calligraphy, Chupa Kappa consider me the fable go killer from Montezuma to the Tripoli. That's three sixes upside down. I know the mystery. Three strikes left with three boosters. Thought I was Tripoli. I'm so high that scared of this plane, just like Mr. T. My ex is Mr. D. Mr. T scissor me. I put two wells together. This is so illiquid, soliloquy. Check the chart like will it be? You feeling me? Put all your crew's jewelry together. You ain't as lit as me. Ain't even the lit as me. Living breath, litmus test. Here to pray you on them again. That's called litany. No cap, literally couldn't put a lid on me. Brought the vibe masculine back. Y'all too glittery. Collabs you be playing with your life. That's a killer beat. Who skills as me? Say the God sicker. That's an illogy. Have you like the bill degree? Tell me if you still agree. Chip the way to chip a why Tell me if you still agree They wanna stir things up But they don't wanna spill the tea I'm still the key Just the hero Chillin' with the villains be Center of a long hallway With gold pillars be Noah's architect Bloodlines and nobility Lightning in my veins is too amazing for blood I'm the tree of life I'm gonna stay in the mud I done reached the highest level And I raise it above A lion with bull's horns In the grace of a dove Lightning in my veins is too amazing for blood I'm the tree of life I'm gonna stay in the mud I done reached the highest level and I raised it above. I'm lying with bull's horns in the grace of a dove. <laughs> oh my. 
Kai Zodiac Tree of Life. Yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe. That's how you just gotta say, right? It's like, yo, yo. Yeah, fire. Yo. That was fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Had me standing up dancing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going? Mm-hmm. Yo, Kai, like, he needs to make like a comic book. <laughs> I just gotta say that real quick. I, he needs to make like a a story because every time is is a superhero. You know what I mean? He's right. telling us a story and listen, he's a great great lyricist. You know, he definitely knows what he's saying. It's man, it's inspiring. Let me put it that way. You know what I mean, just keep it <laughs> like that. Word, bro. Yeah, he um, he's on one. He's he's on one. Like, <laughs> the way that dude spit, I really enjoy that. You know, in, in terms of closing this out, I couldn't have done it better. Yeah, I couldn't have done it better. Yeah, Snoop. Just for that song, man. Yeah, that, well, I said this before about one of the songs, but this one is like he went crazy. <laughs> Word. Yeah, yeah, he's fast. Mm-hmm. May I just repeat what's on the live screen? Killer Priest is the most conscious MC of our time right now. I agree. Salute. Salute, 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 Killer Priest. Thank you, thank you. I was born. Tell him again, since they was a foot record. Let him know. Let him know. <laughs> Let him know. As I repeat, Killer Priest is the most conscious MC of our time right now. That's why this show on this live pod craft, it's not a cast. It's a craft mm. that he has. He doesn't have a cast. It's nothing on his arm casted up or his leg casted up. Uh, he is the craft of the art of hip hop. That's why I like to be a part of the art of his party. Okay. Monday, Wednesday. Live Podcraft YouTube Killer Priest, the real Killer Priest. Blessings to everyone that was on this live chat today. Blessings to everybody. Anna Assassin, all the blessings and the messages I got up there, you guys. Give praise and thanks. I love you all to life. I love you, brother. Thanks. I love you too. Oh, and I love man. your son, Thank A.D. You. Love you, too. You are one of the hardest working engineers, producers behind the tables there. People don't always get to see him, but acknowledge A.D. Everyone that's shouting him out on live chat, I respect you for that. Cap Jones, peace to you as well. I see your message, brother. Your music, you already know. Phila B. <laughs> Thank you so much. Blessings to all of you. That's it. That's it? Well, I, good? I think it was, it was I was born. But, yeah, you, you want to, I think she ended it, right? That's it. She, she did it. <laughs> you did it. That was on you Sunday, yeah. 9 p.m. Yeah. Oh, oh, I apologize, I, I knowledge. No, no, you good. You're good. You are good. Don't ever apologize for being great. Yep. Uh, <sighs> This Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, on Astrology Jesus, we're going to break down the movie The Last Dragon. Oh, I need so, to watch that. That's going to be an epic breakdown. Hey. Uh, myself Bless. and one of Astrology Jesus' sons, one of the sons of God, you really? know, Kahim, will be in the building. So we, okay. we him and I are going to get busy. We're going to do a decoder. We're going to do a breakdown. So... That's that's the reason for that. The reason for oh, the that's gonna be dope. Gonna be dope. Make some noise. Also, before we get out of here, I got the Mystery Channel. My mystery man, channel, the Mystery Channel. Yeah, Mystery yeah. Mystery Channel. My man, Brian yeah. Ford. He does. Yeah, yeah. He plays all the instrument live. Real music, real musician. And we got this yeah. EP right here. Right. So, yes. It's out Sweet. now. The single case just came out. It's on Spotify and all those things. But also, um, this EP vinyl comes out August 11th. Uh, it's got a 
It's got some good tracks. It's got a, something from Tall Black Guy. I don't know if you guys heard of Tall Black Guy. He's a pretty, uh, he's a he's a up and coming producer right now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Check it out. And I got mystery channels on there. We this is we went out and um, we did this and um, well, we got like four tracks on it. Yeah. Uh, um, we did this yeah. out in Chicago um, a while yes. back. We worked on it, and now it's manifest things that you do in the past can affect your uh, future. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. saying? So we did this. This is the cover part of me. You know, this one, we, I'm a, we're going to sign some too? Yeah, yeah. You can buy, uh, there's pre-sale. So you can buy, uh, there's a limited edition uh, signed this? copies. It's me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. He's a comedian too, man. Yeah, <laughs> so, man. You know, funny guy. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. So here we go, yo. A shout out to my man, um, Jeremiah. Yeah, the Seraph man. Yeah, Seraph. Jeremiah Seraph. Man. Word. Yeah, the Chicago connection, but we're out in LA now. So, thanks for having me on, man. man I stopped in. I had the, I had the, I exited. I, I got here. You know, popped off the four or five. Indeed. Got here towards the end, to the end. Bro, but, uh, you got here just in time Best because if we had closed out, if Kazodiak didn't submit that track, dope, we would have closed out too early, and you would have missed it, yeah, and we would not have been able to do this. Yeah. Well, I put my hazards on up front, and uh, oh, then I saw the security guard coming up. So I had to like, and then I went the wrong way. I, then the some guy rolled down his window. Was like, "You're going the wrong way." Yeah, so it's a wrong way around here. It was okay. Yeah, yeah. Then I just parked up, bro. You know, but yeah, there this, you go. this is a, this is a good place. Man. I got I got tight security around here. Yeah, this, you hey. know it should be because the Killer Priest podcast is here, man. You know, I yeah. craft. You got to keep it the security tight. Exactly. Yeah, we in know? a fortress uh-huh. over here. Yeah, here you go, man. Here you go. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. be in a bigger fortress, even yeah. more fortress. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Forest. So I want to thank um, in the forest, huh? Forest of mm-hmm. happy. So I want to thank everybody out there. Now what? And I want that's not me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, want, that, that EP comes out August 11th too. August, August 11th. 11th. This, this yeah. EP will be available, and it's um, four joints to uh, uh, Snakes Mystery Channel, Mystery Channel Instrumental, and uh, we just went in, man. We yeah. went live music, live yeah, yeah, music. Yeah. Oh, nice. So yeah. yeah, he plays drums. Oh, nice. Yeah, I play drums and you, this you, and that. Yeah, that's what we got to get together. Yeah, nice. yeah, that's cool. I'm trying to do a group called the Orchestra. Yeah, because yeah, the there's a speakeasy right. down the street from where he's at, from your crib, and it's yeah. like, do we got something going on there? Because, so, like, you yeah, know, perform there's something about having mm. live MCs with a live band behind it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The energy's like yeah. there, you know? It's, it's, it's the drums. Yeah, the drums, yeah. live drums. It makes all about the pop. The it makes the kick. Yeah. yeah. And Dave yeah. Flores is going to play the bass. Okay. We got a whole, we got a, we got a lot of musicians, man. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Dave Flores is a, is, a, is a musician, too. Shout out to uh, Dave Flores. I can set up some turntables. Yeah. So the all orchestra. Yeah. Huh? Junior or senior? Ju- both okay. actually both yeah both of them you put one on guitar then but uh but i'm talking about the singer huh you put one of them on guitar yeah one of them on guitar the other one play i'm you talking play bass uh, too and drums and you play everything i'm talking like three guitars four bass players like two drum sets oh, no, four no, bass no, players. no i'm just kidding god tars <laughs> no. we'll talk about that <laughs> so, like, this is, no no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i was born to say god tars god god yeah. tars like the aura yeah, yeah. 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 orchestra <laughs> now it'd be a little combo thing and like you know you have guest mcs come through and it's down uh down on, on sixth over in spring, spring yeah. yeah hold on um it's called the spring street bar yeah, it's no, a no, cool no, place no. it's like downstairs has like piano piano guts on the wall and stuff and hey. so we'll be doing nice. that live yeah. and we'll be playing there weekly like every other week or something. Yeah, like we every, said that. every couple of weeks or something, but rotation and stuff. So yeah, when like live hip hop. Come check it out. When again? Sure. Yeah, because you're gonna be playing too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stay tuned for the stay tuned for the dates that they're coming. Finally, up. it's nice yeah. too. Yeah. Finally, some live shit. Well, we yeah. did the same thing in Chicago too. We had yeah. some shows that we did live. We had a because KP had a whole band behind him. It was good. Yeah. I mean, Dope. And like people coming out of the pandemic are really just just thirsting for live music and yeah. live stuff, you know, because it's just. I don't know. Nothing like nothing like a live band, live drums. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's just a little live different. everything. Live yeah, everything. I love it. Yeah, in the moment, but yeah, stay tuned. A lot of good stuff going on out there. And when when is that again? This the uh, well the, this EP comes out August 11th, but we're looking to put something together in July. Yeah. So we'll just so, yeah keep it yeah soon soon. So nice. it's in the works, but um beginning of summer. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Finally, finally. When did summer start? Everybody keeps saying it's beginning. Of summer. I thought it started already. No, uh, no. Technically, spring? yeah. Not until we're seasonally in until it's June spring again. Yeah. June twenty first. Oh, okay. Yeah. June twenty. Gotcha. Yeah. Carried away. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I always gotta do that, man. Cause... All right, so yo, there, here we go, y'all. So 
Thank all the guests that came through today, and uh, we'll catch y'all next week, man. And uh, love, peace, fault to leave hair grease and all of that good stuff, man. We out of here. Blessing. Don Lopez, thank you for bringing me up here. Shout out to Don Lopez. My twin today. We didn't even realize we were wearing the same clothes, girl. I really like your hat. That's a cool hat. 90s hip hop was the best. Thank you. That's how I fell in love with hip hop.